All right, folks, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. Just kind of got home, felt like streaming. Let's do it. Let's play some Age of Empires. So, new season. Oh, shit, I didn't even know this happened. All right, so season five is uh, starting with map monsters. Okay, yeah, I saw something about this on YouTube. There's like some uh, scary tree monster guy in the woods. Haven't seen the sea serpent yet, but it should be quite a bit of fun. So, what's going on with the new season? What are the jams? Hmm, should be kind of cool. Take a look around here. We're gonna set up a custom lobby. You guys are gonna have to let me know all the changes. Like I straight up have no idea if there's been like big patch notes. <laughs> I guess we'll learn the hard way. All right, so we're gonna be setting this up. Uh, turn FFA, it's gonna be the first one. Probably gonna do like two or three FFA games tonight, I think. That's that's the overall plan. Not like a super balls deep stream, but it'll be, uh, it'll be in the family. So, all right, let's go here. So we got standard Empire Wars. Provides a faster start to the game with villagers and already assigned tasks, a dark age town in place, and elevated resources. All right. Nomad, sandbox, and uh, looks like scenario. Play with the scenario. Okay, so it looks like most of the same stuff. Do people want to do Empire Wars? Is that kind of fun? Let's try Empire Wars out. Yeah, screw it. Uh, provides a faster start to the game. That way, maybe we can get more games going tonight. Hey, welcome. Folks want to do Empire Wars? I don't know what this one is, but I think it could be kind of fun. For the map, we'll do Mega Random. Mega Random's always good. And uh, you know what? Who do we feel like playing? I, I I feel like maybe I want to play some Delhi. Although Delhi, I don't know. Is it good? I, I don't know what it is. It's kind of imbalanced your call. All right. So, well, if it's, if it's not fair, then we'll just do standard. Yeah. Standard then. All right, so we'll do standard. Everybody pick exactly what you're looking. I'm gonna go Delhi Salt in it because I wanna get some, just some turbo elephants. We'll take red. Everyone starts in feudal. They give each of a few starter buildings and text. They think that people would have researched by then. Got it. Buck, how you doing? Love every time you do these while I'm at work. Oh, look at that. Did my game just crash? We are now online. The hell's this? Okay, is my lobby still up or do I have to remake it? All right, so please don't um, rejoin the lobby unless you were in the previous one, if possible. It's weird, yeah. Strange disconnects. Okay, match invite from Naniori. Yeah, maybe I can just rejoin that lobby and then we're good. Okay, joining back, because I, I think I saw Naniori in the lobby. All right, um, yeah, this is the same one, perfect. All right, thank you. Good save, really, really good save, by the way. All right, so it looks like everybody's set, uh, no team. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start this bad boy. Yeah, the return, yeah, we're back in business. We're gonna try, yeah. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's get it. I'm ready. Uh, somebody else has to start now. So Delhi has a new Gazi Raider instead of Horseman, which do armor-piercing damage. Ooh, that's cool. So Delhi has like a new armor-piercing Horseman. Oh, that's rad. Uh, Rock, you got to start it. <laughs> yeah, so Mega Random, uh, Mega Random Normal. Yeah, we'll just do Normal for now. Yeah, just go ahead and start and we'll get it going. How you guys all doing, by the way? Is life treating you well? Just went to the uh, went to the store today and picked up the uh, new Magic the Gathering set. They have a Lord of the Rings set coming out, which is pretty cool. So we've got a box of that waiting in the old garage. Excited to kind of get some Nazgul decks going and all that. Should be quite a bit of fun. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Hammer. Greatly appreciate it, man. All right, so Delhi, we have Armor Piercing Horseman, which in theory should be really good against, well, I mean, I guess not bad against French Knights, right? As well as like HRE Troopers, uh, English Men at Arms. It's kind of cool. Excited to be able to catch another stream. Been testing Wood Elves in Campaign. Hey, yeah, Wood Elves are fun in Campaign. Certainly after their update they got in the end of Warhammer 2, they were uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I, man, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know what the build order is for Delhi these days. Typically, I just like to go really, really quickly into the, um, I know 1v1 build orders a little bit, but um, I'm really out of the loop. Yeah, we just started. Late night, man. Just feeling it. How many of you guys are going to be playing the Lord of the Rings set? Are you, you feeling it? Some neat cards. They have all those. Uh, I really like the ones that have like the Elvish writing on it. I think that's really neat. Yeah, the one ring, dude, it's pretty insane. So the one ring in the uh, Magic the Gathering set, the one with the serial number on it, is apparently, like, people are bidding, like, I think there was offers over a million dollars on it, which is nuts. Just absolutely insane. I mean, we had the most valuable Magic card, which was what? Like, the old school Black Lotus for the longest time. I don't know what that's up to now, but, like, I think the one ring has it, like, completely blown out of the water. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Wesley, welcome to the stream. Yes, the good times are going to roll. Um, I am playing... Delhi, I'm battling Nomad for the slowest load time here. 
We have to we have to summon the inner spirit of uh, Allied Trex here to see who's going to be the potato master of loading. Sauron, yeah, Sauron. The Sauron cards are pretty cool for sure. Grixis, Grixis is a fun color scheme. Granted, I don't like playing without green. I always like to have some ramp in my decks. I mean, obviously, artifact ramp is good. You can usually get away with it in Grixis, but um, yeah, I like to I like to have a little bit of ramp in all my decks. Black and green is my favorite color scheme in Magic, so I've um, been putting together some decks. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Ah, I loaded faster than Nomad. I'm not the potato in the night. Oh, we got Dandy Dragon, the Lord of the French Turtle, uh, turtle here, the French Turtle himself. We got a lot of uh, familiar faces here in the community. I don't know what Delhi can do. I guess I just got to go Fast Castle and try and get a bunch of relics. I feel like that is the way. Currently uh, from Gollum's Pool. Oh, you're saying you live in the area where they did Lord of the Rings? Oh, that's cool. That's fine. I literally live on the slopes of Mount Doom. Dude, that's awesome. Hell yeah. You ever go up there and just check it out? Find some sword that was buried there from the movie set that was forgotten. All right. So let's go down here. Okay. Oh my god, do I I was like I was like trying to remember the hockey's like, how do I play this game again? Alright, it's it's all coming back to me now, guys. We're we're getting there quickly. Alright. Do this. Start on that. They fixed the trade exploit. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that's so nice. The trade exploit was probably one of the things that pissed me off the most in this game. It was just awful. The traders now drop off at oh, okay, so they just kinda like made it a little bit more normal. Got it. Alright. Okay, let's go see what we got up in the corner. We're on a mega random map, so it uh, it could be pretty crazy. We'll do a little bit of mining here, and you can go there. Do we have water in the corner? It looks like there was a little bit of a water node. Nothing too much, but a little something something. All right, so let's do this and get those upgrades going as well. It looks like the map was like about to spawn some water, and then it just kind of ran out of steam. Also, you can't see the trade amount. Oh, interesting. Thank you for the updates. Really appreciate it, folks. As we get back into this hot action here. <laughs> two French, two English, and an HRE. Have fun, I know. We're going we're gonna to do our best. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Okay, so we found Professor Finbar up here. And uh, we're about to finish this. We need to set you up. And now we can go ahead and get this and this. Just going to play very defensive. You know, I'm a little bit rusty, so I don't want to go in and just, like, you know, overextend and get absolutely wrecked. Okay, so we got four on wood. That's what she said. We should have the wheelbarrow coming up. Let's see if we can get some more sheep. Keep looking around. Yeah, there was like a weird bug with trading in the previous patch where you could like basically double trade. Yeah, it was really stupid. It, it, it like was a big turn off. Like, when, I hate when the meta, like it's a big pet peeve of mine coming from Total War when the meta is exploits and bugs and using bugs to win. And that's like what Total War multiplayer often is, sadly. Um, so yeah, it was it was a bit of a, you know, a thing that I just really, really hated. All right, let's hit that. Let's keep looking down here. I offer peace until it suits me, is what Finbar says. That's really funny. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Okay, so let's get you guys turn in. Head down to gold. Do this. We can set up some proper lumber camp here to get the early forestry. Haven't been able to find too many relics yet. Been a little bit dry on the relic department, but that's okay. Okay, what do we got down here? Who's my neighbor? Where is my neighbor at? I feel like I should get in on the water. The fact that there's like nodes of water, I mean, it's a pretty small one, but even still having a couple like fishing boats there doesn't seem like the worst idea in the world. Okay, let's turn in, go over here. Okay, we have some deep sea fishing right here. I think it would be stupid to not fish. So we're gonna get enough gold to go feudal and then we're gonna hit the fishing pretty hard and just go castle behind that. I think that's, that's just like, you know. Although for Delhi to compete in FFA, I feel as if you need to be pretty heavy duty on the, um... all right, so if you guys go here, looking good, go jump on wood, we can have a couple more guys go here. I feel like you need to have a lot of relics to compete is essentially what I was going to be saying. Yeah, so we'll explore the middle of the map and hopefully find some. <laughs> he says, sadly, I'm not in the corner. That's really funny. All right, so uh, Dome of Faith, yeah, and then uh, the Tower of Victory is kind of a cool idea also, but we're just going to build this for now. All right, so you four get on here. Got to get the forestry going. Keep it going, man. Yeah, I might do some cast a casted one tonight. Depends on how my hand feels, really. I, I might play. Yeah, I'm on the West Coast. I live in California, so pretty uh, pretty low key time for me here. Eh. All right, let's do that. build a house. Let's go down. Find some more relics if we can. We have the landmark for the next age on the way, and uh, we're keeping one on gold just to make sure we can produce some religious characters as we uh, as we age up here. Probably should have at least two. South was a lot of water. Yeah, it seems like there's a fair amount of water on this map. 
definitely does. All right, turn in, switch to that. Could go fast castle with just land, but yeah, skipping water is just stupid if you have access to it. AoE 2. I, you know, I haven't played AoE 2 since I was a kid. It was a great game, though. Really, really good game, but, you know, I'm, uh, get, getting back into that would certainly be tough. All right, so we got Serona down here, and, uh, looks like all the upgrades are coming along. We're about to finish the wheelbarrow. What culture are they? They are playing the Abbasid. All right. So the Abbasid perhaps looking for a little bit of action. Let's have you run over to the water. Get that all set up. Ah, oh, the Abbasid setting up in the corner. All right, so we know where their landmarks are. In case we have to do glorious battle at some point, we do know. See how it goes. I don't think we'll ever recover from that last cast at FFA, dude. That was that was that was pure suffering. Holy shit, that was that was that was truly something to behold. Matt feels pretty big. All right, let's get you. Do this. Looking good. Get to hit the lumber a little bit, and obviously go a little bit light on food because we're going to compensate by having fishing. And got to make sure to get all the tech as we get into the second age. I don't think we're going to get rushed. I don't think so. Maybe so. Okay, so let's get you and you. And uh, upgrades, 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 and upgrades. I think I got most of them. Looks like we're not going to be alone in the water. Okay, so he discovered the water way before me, which is really, really not good. Um, we could definitely be in uh, dire straits. But I, I suppose we could catch up, you know, if we get a couple of fishing nodes of our own. We're a little bit behind, but we do have a lot on Lumber, so I think that's going to be good for us. Okay, so let's get the Delhi Scholars going. Let's go explore the middle of the map. I could just die early on, and if I die early on, we'll just we'll just have another game. Straight up. Delhi Fishing Bolts should be pretty jacked, too. All right, so let's get a little bit of stone. We want to grab you guys and start creating a surplus of stone, because we do have the Village Fortresses thing, which I think is good. I don't really know, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a try. Villagers are coming out. Food is going well. Let's do this and this. We have a trade post in the middle of the map. Holy shit. Okay, there's actually a lot of water here. This could become a pretty crazy showdown. Okay, we got the fishermen. Got another trade post. We see some relics, which is good. And come on, drop off that lumber faster. I guess the houses were kind of uh, kind of prohibitive there. We also want to upgrade our docks in case our opponent tries to push us out of the water. Okay, so it looks like purple's discovered us. We're seeing a lot of the relics in the middle. And where you got the scholars just coming out, which is outstanding. Um, so we have a Bassid near us. So we probably could just go for some... Um, yeah, you know what? The new Delhi horsemen seem kind of fun. Let's give them a try. Let's give them a good old college try here and see how this goes. And I think we should be catching up in regards to our water presence. Oh, never mind. Holy shit. Serona's, Serona's looking mighty jacked over there. So we could just be in some straight up danger. Um, maybe setting up some walls here would be prudent. So let's do this, this, and uh, this, and uh, yeah. We'll start on some walls just to you know make sure we don't get invaded here super hard. All right, looking good. Food's picking up here. Uh, upgrades are coming along. We're not dead yet, which is which is a huge boon. Um, and we do have our stables. So let's look at the new horseman. The new horseman is the Gazi Rider. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so I do like that. That's going to be fun. So if we need to make some horsemen, we can make one just for a little bit of control and uh, just keep pumping out boats here. Um, do I want to get the defensive arrow emplacements? Yes, I think so. And we have a lot on wood, but I feel like I'm really not making that much wood. I was wrong, deep water in the south. So it looks like uh, we're pretty comfortable in the south. Yeah, we got we got all the deep water. Gazi Rider. Okay, what is that? Upgrade to veteran and uh, high movement. Increased effectiveness against armored. Countered by spearmen, obviously. Okay, so nothing terribly... Oh, okay. Oh, these guys are cool. They got like a shield and mace. I do dig that. No, oh, wrong unit. Got to get the docks hotkeyed here. Yes, get you guys all fired up here, and um, yeah, we got the deep water fish of the gods. We're probably gonna have a little bit of a naval conflict at some point. I would wager. Um, I just, I just foresee it happening. All right, so the walls are finished, and uh, we have potential threats from the north as well. But let's start putting more folks on gold. Um, just slowly building up our gold to make sure we can get to the next age here at a somewhat uh, expeditious rate. All right, so let's get the upgrade, and uh, which one is doing that? And then we can get this upgrade here, in case we get pushed by his boats. We could take our fishing boats, but I don't want to like make an enemy quite yet. I feel like we're kind of in a, a you know comfortable spot. Let's let's not make too many enemies. I'm st I'm still shaking off the old rust. Right here, switch to golds, and uh, yeah, looking good. Oh, that's right, I'm playing Delhi. I should be having double blacksmith and uh, getting the old uh, upgrades. I am a potato, and here and here. It's been a while, guys. Bear with me. It's been a while since I played, so. More upgrades coming out. Looks good. The boats are all coming alive. 
We've got the Great Wall of Delhi coming. Uh, we'll build a gatehouse here too. So our scholars can sneak by and grab all the goodies when the time does come. And uh, oh, our scouts. Holy shit. Oh, Dandy Dragon. This French, the French do, uh, do, do not want to just sit in their base and chill. They want to come out and party, it looks like. All right, so yeah, it looks like we got most of the upgrades. Blacksmiths are coming, so we should be able to get those. And uh, yeah, my opponent's got a pretty big navy here, which I suspect he might get aggressive against me. I don't know. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely encroaching on his lands a little bit. Thankfully, we do have the Wall of the Gods. So any any sort of, uh, you know, land-based aggression, we would have a little bit of time to react and maybe get, like, a keep up or something like that. All right, almost there. The fishing, of course, going to be launching us to the Castle Age. Boats are coming along. Deep sea fish. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Thank you for the... I don't think anybody's ever donated $31 before. Can we get an AOE for stream for Wednesday to start the summer? Right for my birthday. I might be out of town on Wednesday. My wife and I are going on a little bit of a vacation, but if we are, I'll certainly consider it. Thank you, man, and happy birthday, um, preemptively. Uh, all right, so where are we going with this? We got the compound of the Defender. I think we can build this one, like, up here a little bit. Yeah, we can, like, kind of, like, hide it off to the side. Just in case we, like, lose a battle in the south, I think, like, spreading out our base a little bit would be smart. Okay, so let's get a couple of these guys. One, two, three. Let's get some uh, some battle elephants maybe coming out. I do want to try out the new horsemen. Hey, Wookie, thanks for becoming a member. Yes, yes. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard, my friend. All right, so let's go ahead and ramp up the jams here. And we can set this up like so. Get some more scholars coming out. Get some more scholars. And uh, now at this point, we are going castle. So what we need to do is grab our scholars and basically preemptively move on to the relics. All right, so let's get you. And you go down here, buddy. And uh, we can take the other ones and head across the map and see what we can grab. If we can get a couple relics here, I'm going to be pretty darn happy for sure. Um, and yes, we can get that going just to make us a little bit harder to push out. And uh, town center is still, still pumping away. All right, good. Good, good, good. More mosque action, looking solid, and we should have enough for a keep pretty soon to make it hard to dive this old potato man. And uh, yeah, hopefully the three scholars, the three wise men moving out here will be able to grab the goodies. And you can go up here. We could also just grab the sacred sites for money. This, it might take some time for somebody to come and actually like, you know, shut us down, right? Uh, control shift, see? All right, let's go have you guys support in the middle. People are reaching the next age, dandy dragon teching up. Myself, we have a very peaceful relationship here on the water with our Abbasid neighbor, which is nice. And, uh, uh oh, we might have we might have alerted them to our presence, although we might as well just grab this at this point. Oh, perfect. Here's one. Let's take it back here. And uh, we will be getting the upgrades for the next age now. Outstanding. All right, so you guys just go grab some stone, and you can grab this. Come back here, and uh, we have another homeboy here to grab this. All right, so we're getting a lot of goodies here. I would say we're getting a pretty good uh, handful of uh, the old goodies. So let's go ahead and get a keep in the base. Um, we can do it like right here for now. And uh, are we going to make it back? We are. We don't want to capture all the sacred sites. We don't want to make be making too many enemies. But And let's grab this and hustle down here and see if we can. All right. So keeps coming up. Being chased by wolves. Let's get the veterans. Make a bunch of horsemen here. And, uh, and you guys can head over and grab some rocks. And when the keep finishes, we can get the village fortresses going. Which should be very nice. All right, you go there. We have our dreaded horseman legion, but our army does certainly feel a little bit smaller. Let's get this. I don't really know how hardcore we're going to be. Oh, hello. Hello, my friend. Let's grab this relic. It's a little bit safer. Come down here. And I think everybody is on their way back with the relics. You know, actually, one of the first times I've been supply blocked here, so not too bad. Not too bad. We should be okay. We should dodge most of it. All right, let's drop the relics off. Good job, team. No, you dropped that off in there. Great. You guys can garrison back in there. You guys coming out. Looks like the keep is done, so let's get the village fortresses upgrade. And get a second keep in the base with which we can um, produce villagers. And we need to get the castle age upgrades too. Got a little bit lazy about that, but not the end of the world. All right. Let's grab the other one here. And it looks like we had a pretty good haul of relics, all things considered. Wow, this man is fishing like an absolute maniac over here. He is putting me to shame. Could just go imp. You know, we're going to have a lot of relics here. We're going to have a whole lot of relics. If I lose, I have to play the golem game. Dude, that's some serious punishment right there, bro. I, th I thought we were friends. All right. Okay, let's get you going. And we can get another one of these. We can just set it up, like, down here, I'm thinking. And uh, we're just kind of, like, fortifying our base against aggression. All right, so you drop that off and then come here. Upgrades, 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 upgrades. 
We grabbed that. Um, we have our random horseman here. So let's go. Yeah, there's another relic up here by this gentleman's base, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it. I don't think we're going to be able to get it. Okay, the Abbasid could be up there, up to no good down there. So we might as well start on upgrades on our ships, right? I think that's going to be prudent. Another keeps coming down. And we'll get a pretty good little economic boom. Okay, we got five relics in total, which I'm pretty happy with. That's a solid amount. Um, now we need to think about like consolidating our lands and securing uh, territory. That's going to be the big thing. Um, we could do a keep down here with which to maybe get a little bit aggressive. Yes, looks good. I love how many how the, the, the keeps are with the compound of the defender being like cheaper and whatnot. It's really nice. Um, we did forget to do this and this. It's going to take a couple minutes, but all good. We're just grabbing all the stone we can off the lands. Yeah, we got to be supply blocked a little bit so you guys know I'm not sick. All right. So let's go set this up, do this, save up the rest of the stone, set up that little fortress down there. Um, this could definitely evolve into like a massive naval mortal combat. Um, but I, I'm just hoping that I would have enough of an army to win like a land-based trade. All right, gold's coming up and uh, cool. Good job team, you guys head back to the old wood. And uh, cool, cool, and uh, you guys can be in group seven and we can use those to produce buildings. Just kind of taking it easy right now, to be honest. Um, do we want to... Is there any sort of situation we would want to secure here? You know what? I actually see some cool options. So let's start doing this. And doing this. Okay. And then we can grab... Oh, hello. So Professor Finbar is over in these lands. Um, chilling out. That definitely will make an enemy if I go over there and karate chop them real quick. But let's just keep taking all the stone. In the meantime, we'll, we'll like slowly start securing the top of the map. And uh, yeah, and we'll we'll see if we can we can get like a nice little uh, empire here of sorts. Secure those gold nodes. I don't want to butcher his villagers yet because I wanna I wanna you know keep it all friendly there. Cool. So we'll get more villagers producing from the keeps. Uh, these naval upgrades are coming along. So yeah, all's good now. All's gone. We do need to get some trade going. What I want to do is like trade from the top corner here and and have them go to the middle, which I think would be pretty rad. All right. Let's get some elephants, because elephants are awesome and uh, certainly know how to send a message. We could go do battle with the Abbasid. Um, not sure if we want to yet. Yeah, we got to like test the waters and see what they got going on here, yeah? So set up some towers just around here, just to kind of see what's cracking. And uh, we do need to get a market, too. I don't even have a basic market yet, so. All right, cool. All's good, man. How you guys doing? Life treating you well? Ready for some Age of the Empires tonight? Okay, upgrades coming along. I think we could just go Imperial here soon. Although, honestly, our food isn't that good. Um, we had a lot of upgrades coming out, but let's just get all of these additional fishing boats. The Delhi boats are just chilling out, hanging, hanging, having a bit of a stare down with our friends here. Let's get some barracks in case he's mass horsemen or something so we can get some spears in response. I have chosen the path of peace. I'm playing like a more defensive Delhi kind of... Oh, oh, okay. All right, then. Maybe, maybe the path of peace is overrated. Professor Finbar is getting extra ornery up there. Okay. And do this, and do this. We have a, a respectable military for sure. We got 18 dudes here. Uh, is there any more resources to grab? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's uh, start heading up to the middle of the map and uh, dropping keeps here, and then we can grab those resources. Okay. Looks like we're being attacked by somebody's scout. This is like the perfect excuse to just be like, to war! <laughs> yeah. All right, we got some bills here. Let's take them out. Um, let's, on that note, let's go ahead and get a, uh, let's get a stone wall down here. I think we're gonna need it. In case we, you know, this, this gentleman thinks to uh, backstab me. I need to make sure we are uh, secure. All right, so we push those villagers back. Um, we don't have the best eco right now. Imperial Age still feels like it's a ways away. We're peacefully sharing the water with this uh, this, this fine gentleman over here. We have a lot of scholars, so let's get them with the main army. I think we're maxed out on our uh, churches. Okay, I just hit a hotkey. I don't know what that does, but hopefully it's nothing serious. Okay, yeah, so he's taking out my villagers. He's got the white... Oh, that is an English player too, shit. Yeah, we should probably get a little bit at, uh, like aggressive against the English, right? Because we don't know how strong they're going to get, which is obviously going to be strong. Uh, all right, let's go grab this. Take down some bills here. 
We could for sure just straight up lose this fight. Um, it's not outside of the realm of possibility. I don't know what the English army looks like, but they're not Imperial yet, so I'm kind of like, maybe this is the time where we could strike and have some success. You know, just just, just a little bit. Let's move up, and uh, we can take some bills too, so let's do this. Take some villagers, take some bills here, and just go and get ready to party. All right, so why? Make some more bills from the keep here. Oh, oh shit, there's, there's a, somebody's attacking him in the south, all right. So let's go, let's go like tango with green a little bit, see what he's up to. So at the very least we get some villager kills here. Okay, pull back the elephants. Yes, unfortunately we have a lot of cavalry. So let's get into the base and just kind of do a little, little something something here. Yeah, we can go ahead and do a keep drop back here maybe. I think that's going to be okay. We're into the base so we can start raiding and uh, yeah, you guys can just raid. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish the keep in time. It doesn't look like it. The elephants are kind of running out of steam a little, although his, his melee core is, is looking a little bit dead too. All right, so we've we've idled a lot of his eco. Have you guys, let's get that keep going. And uh-huh. Okay, so let's go back here, run away, let the elephants do their grinding. We got more men-at-arms on the way in, and it looks like we are gonna get a keep drop here. And yeah, a lot of the Eng English eco has actually been shut down for now. Um, the Great Wall is being built. Yeah, he's idling and perfect. We just found the goodies. Ice, gonna lose more bills. And let's run into the tree line here. Let the elephants finish off the last of the scraps. He's trying to snipe my bills, which is fine. We can make a lot more. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. And uh, yeah, you guys come back and finish that keep. And then what we could do is we could set up some aggressive infrastructure from there. We need way more infra, though. I, I don't have enough to do a whole lot right now. Okay, let's do this in case we lose water. We're gonna want farms. Let's move up, start taking down TCs. I think we have successfully won this war. And now we can go ahead and start setting up Siege. Outstanding. Yeah, he's losing a, quite a bit. Okay, let's go team. And uh, yeah, farms are coming. They're all coming together. Let's delete this, make a little bit of room for more farms. And uh, do we need to get more wood somewhere? We do. All right, so let's do this. And why? And have these start producing, yeah, villagers from our keeps, basically. All right, so one down. And uh, understandable having a turn betrays me. <laughs> Were we ever friends? I mean, of course we're friends in, in our community, but were we were we ever friends outside of this little uh, alliance here? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Feels a little, uh, little like you just made that friendship up, but not gonna ask questions. All right, so yeah, we can't, if he didn't start walling off my whole Northern Empire, I would've, I wouldn't have gotten so aggressive, but he, yeah, I, I don't like being like caged in, right? That didn't feel like a, like a good thing. Okay, so let's do this. Yes. And yes. And yes. And cool. So we're, we're slowly starting to kind of secure things. The English are basically just toast at this point. Um, and we got 15 bills here. Let's just get them on lumber. No problem. Send in the old rams. The old do host. We, you knew the hate was going to flow eventually. It was just a matter of when, really. Um, all right, so you finish these damn walls and let's get a, a gatehouse here. Looks like uh, looks like Teal is, is struggling in the south as well. All right, so the English are probably toast. I don't know where they could set up shop to be safe. Um, our eco is 101, which is pretty good. We definitely need more infrastructure. We do have the White Tower over there, so he's probably going to try and survive in the corner, I would guess. All right, let's do this. Looking good. So Serona has fallen. Interesting. All right. So now the water belongs to us for all it's worth. You know, we, we have control over the water. And Nomad has been eliminated too, huh? Okay, shit's getting real crazy here in this game. Are we being attacked at our Great Wall? Oh, it's a wolf that's doing it, lovely. We gotta secure our little empire here. Our piece of the pie. Okay, do this. Uh, let's make some more elephants since we have the money for it, why not? Cap out our army and uh, finish this side of the wall. Could get attacked from any direction here. He's trying to repair it. Not going to last too long with the tower elephants. They're really good at killing the uh, villagers that are currently repairing. Okay, let's make this. Make a gatehouse here. Hey, look at that. You know, we're still we're still around. We're still in it, baby. Old man still kind of got it. I don't know why. Yeah, just better we build a slightly better one there. Uh, that should be GG for the English player. GG. All right, 
So, where were we? Let's head back to the base. Get our armies gathered. And now what we need to do is secure trade. Because we have quite a bit. Yeah, that they're doing this. Um, where do we have extra villagers around? We got the farms going there. Grab a couple of you guys. And let's see how we can do this through his base. Yes. And then, yes. Hmm. Trixie Hobbitses. All these accursed landmarks are making it very tough for me here. All right. Two, three, four. Archer Ranges. Looking good. We got the Boats of Doom, and now we can go Imperial. I did have fish. I know. Well, that's that's why that's why it went, uh, went smoothly for me. Hisar Academy. Um, I think the Palace of the Sultan is the way, right? That just seems super cool. So I hate to build it up in the corner, but that is the safest play. Just to go like all the way up here. Do it here. Yeah. We'll do it up there. It's going to take a hot minute for the villagers to get there, but I think at the end of the day, it's going to be worth. Looking good. And uh, are we walled off here? We're not. So let's go here. Wall off this middle part. Try and get a gatehouse up too. We got to like secure the, the full Empire of Doom. From here, we should be able to get the walls going across. There we go. Production is going. We're securing a little bit of land. We got 22 villagers, Netflix, and chilling here. Just keep grabbing stone wherever we can. Get a couple of you guys down here, and let's go set up some markets here. One, two, three, four. All right. So then we need to get trade going. Oh, you guys had a crash? You guys both crashed? That's really unfortunate. What the hell is this? Who is this in the middle? This is Dandy Dragon. You know what he wants. You know he wants that sweet, sweet wonder. All right. So we're going to set up a keep to secure these resources. And uh, yeah, now we just need to you know, watch out for some sort of an incursion here. We could have some Mortal Kombat. Ah, oh, well, if you crash, feel free to join the next one, if that's the case. Yeah, because obviously, you know, you got you kind of got blue balled here a little bit. All right, so trade posts. Where do we have trade posts? Um, Dandy Dragon, we need to deny him because he's just going to go wonder. Right, so we can we can go ahead and knock this down and get a little bit aggressive here, I think. One, two, three, four, and back. Yes. I don't know. This is burning oil. This is going to suck pretty bad. Let's move these guys past. We're probably going to see just a, a, a pretty massive French army roll up here in a minute. Rams are going after it. Is he going to repair? Uh, it's hard to tell. Definitely can't just let him cackle in the middle of the map. All right. So that's going. We're going to be Imperial. It's going to be very important to make sure we get all our Imperial upgrades here soon. You guys get that stone, and he's going to lose some bills, but really not the end of the world. All right. So still have a fair amount of players in here. Okay, let's attack. Take those down. Get that stone. Danny Dragon also sitting on some of the sacreds. Okay, so do we have more gold to be grabbed in the middle of the map? I think we do. Not for long, though. Let's do this. You guys can chop these trees down so we can make some proper walls here. And uh, then you guys can do this. All right. All right, great. So we're going to get the big scary elephants here soon. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, get the upgrades. Upgrades, 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 upgrades. And what other ones are we missing? Yeah. Basically just all of them. You know, you just want to get all the goodies. All right, so we got some control. Dandy Dragon's probably going to go wonder here in a minute. Let's get that so we can get the upgrade speed. I think it still works like that, right? Yeah, there's going to be some French laughter for sure, um, I would wager. I would definitely guess that would be the case. Ah, okay. So we see trade over here. So this is where the French are scheming and red. Oh, wow. Everybody's just kind of dipping their old hands in the metaphorical cookie jar. Let's get the uh, universities up and get the three of them so we can speed those along. So actually, you can't see how much people are trading for now. Interesting. That's a, that's a curious change. Get some hand cannoneers. And uh, yeah, just grab whatever stone we can. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to trade here except us. Uh-oh, the French have had enough. They're pissed. Took out those villagers, that's for sure. Okay, so the French are back. Let's get a couple of you guys to build this. And then we can pull you guys around. Good, good. Got to watch out for the French aggression. Um, could come from any number of angles. 
This great wall is not quite done yet. I don't know why they stopped building it, but let's pull those villagers around. So we want them to take the, I guess it's just the most direct route, yeah. So it would be that. Okay, so you guys have built that. Let's get these spearmen to continue building a wall across and across. Perfect. Let's get it. You gotta take some control. Hopefully everybody else is kind of resource starved is the idea. Grab the goodies and we can get tithe barns, which we should have gotten a long time ago. And the uni upgrades, now it is time. So boom, boom, and that's gonna take, what, six minutes? Yeah, it should be fine. It'll certainly go quick. Yeah, the Roham have arrived, indeed. Um, so I can't see how much they're bringing. That's a really curious change. All right, so let's get a gatehouse here. And uh, yeah, get that trade going. Somebody's not happy about it. Okay, my navy is gonna get popped in the face here, which is all right, it's whatever, you know. We're just gonna have to switch to a land-based food economy, which, uh, you know, is, is pretty doable for us. I think we can just uh, set up some farms over here. We can just set up farms here. Yes. And then we can get you guys to come and just set up more farms. Got to get that land-based food economy all, all geared out because we're obviously going to lose most of our, uh, our our navy here. Let's pull the boats down, make them work for it a little bit. You know, it would it might take more than one warship to uh, deal with that. So, all right, so we've dealt with the trade. So the trade has been blocked off from Dandy, so he's no longer going to be able to trade to his heart's content. Um, I don't know if our trade's that good though. How much are we even bringing back? I guess they haven't made it yet, so we'll find out in a second. All right, is this boat still there? It is. Don't these things have arrows? There they go. All right, I was like, wait a second. Don't the Delhi boats do something a little bit special? Oh, we forgot blacksmiths too. The rest is real. Army's not amazing, but we're just banking resources, which is what we want. Look at that, look, look, oh. It is time, let there be a vengeance. The Delhi ships have had enough. They're gonna go chase his battleships here. <laughs> all right, so let's get some demo ships here. Plop those out. Look, look, they're all hiding in there. Yes, feel the wrath of my fishing fleet. He's just gonna make like one demo ship and just steamroll me here in a minute. Okay, let's move out. How much are we bringing back now? I guess we, can, we can't see either, huh? All right, so let's go back and just start fishing again. Green is not in the game. Okay, I don't believe so. Let's pull back down here. Have these two upgrades. How are we looking on villagers? A little bit heavy duty. Definitely should keep trying to take some mid ground if we can. It looks like some traders moving in. All right, no problem. Let's get some uh, tower vision up in the center. Yeah, just like kind of all over the place. Looks like the, there's another trade post right there, which is pretty funny. So let's go get some towers by that and shut that down. I'm kind of making myself the arch enemy right now a little bit, but I think it's okay. I think we're all good. <laughs> the turn rises against us. You guys having fun playing uh, with trade friends with another? I'm not gonna team, I'm just wanting. Hey, you can team me if you think it's a good idea. Okay, can we actually take this down? No, the arrow ships are too shitty. All right, so you guys just go down here. All right, so let's get that and send the battering ram. Feel free to. I don't mind at all. All right, so we're decapping this. It looks like they changed the icon with that. Blessed number 69, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's how much we're getting. Of course it is. Okay, let's do this. Uh oh, the French are here, so we gotta we gotta start marshalling an army again, 100%, and uh, get some armor-piercing horse boys. We might be able to win this fight. Oh, uh, he's got mangoes actually. I don't know about that. Yeah, no, the mangoes are gonna own us. We need to do a little bit of scooting and shooting here. Otherwise, they're gonna punish us. Yeah, his army quality is really good. It's like knights and a fair amount of other good tier units. All right, so let's get the spears on the way out. Hopefully the upgrades will come along soon. The battering ram is trying to decap that, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out. Make some cannon towers here in the middle. And uh, yeah, he's, he's going to get the trade. X is going to give it to him, dude. Get the explosive down there, see if you notice it. Oh, he did. He's watching. The boy is watching indeed. So it's a good thing we switched to this land-based food. Otherwise, we would have been in uh, serious pain right now. All right. So yeah, the army's remustering here. Um, I do like the idea of the armor-piercing horsemen. That feels like it potentially is a decent idea. 
All right, let's get the gunpowder. Our little, look at our little arrow ships. All right, so the ram, I can't get those guys off. I know you want that corner wonder. I know what he wants. He's acting all innocent, but I, I know what he's coming for here. We know what sleeps in the heart of Dandy Dragon. It's the dreaded corner wonder victory. <laughs> yeah, everyone already knows too. <laughs> yeah, he was like laughing. He's like, yeah. We know he's gonna go for it. Yeah, we're definitely in a good position here, though. Um, I would say, like, our map, our map presence is quite strong. We have a, a good balanced economy. Um, a couple upgrades I did forget to get, but I'm pretty sure I got the other imperial ones. I really wish I could see how much I'm getting from the trade. I, I know that's a, a new change, but it's a, it's a little bit strange for sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, let's get this, and then you guys can come down here and do this. Yeah, and you guys go this way and this way. And the, the Sultan Elephant is on his way out. Very good. Can we get the block here? Looks like it's not chopped down quite enough. Dandy Dragon doing God knows what. It looks like he's going after the walls. We can take our army over there, actually, and just start doing a little bit of exploring. Yeah, he's getting a lot of gold on the map, but we do have we do have relics and we have pretty decent trade too. I don't really care to play the water too much, but I guess we could try and surprise with uh, with a, a surprise naval incursion here. Just get a couple of ships and just pop out and do some battle. Okay, he's got the mangonels. Let's get in there and torch him down. Okay, and uh huh. Freebies, freebies. It's all free real estate. Okay, I'll take it. I gotta like keep him using resources, you know. Otherwise, he's just gonna he's just gonna be a free bird. He's gonna be listening to too much free bird. All right, so let's uh, dive with the horses here and here, and we'll just throw armies at him. It's it's all good. We can replenish fairly quickly, I would say. Definitely can. All right, so let's get you guys. Get a couple more stables going. That should give us a good army to macro with. And yeah, as long as we keep the resources pressed a little bit, I'm feeling pretty good. All right, so let's go prison shank this guy off the objective. So we can build this, and then we can go prison shank him. Could have sent a horseman or something, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's fine. All right, gather up. Keep throwing these, like, poor quality armies his way. All right, and uh, we could wolo low those villagers. He's definitely looking like he wants to, um, wants to, yeah. Like, we know how Dandy Dragon plays. We know he's the king of the corner wonder, so. Right, let's do this. Contesting a sacred site. He's got cannons coming. I would imagine his eco is probably smaller than mine, um, considering how big his army is. Okay, so those guys are doing their thing. Let's get all the upgrades coming out. Just pump those out real quick. And then we can decide if we want to do any sort of naval pressure. Okay, so you decap that. Can't let him get all that free gold. And now we just save up ourselves. Okay, so let's update the lumber here. You guys finish that. I feel like the wonder isn't so far off. Um, Nanny Yori is still here. Sai is still here. Rock is still here. So we still have a lot of players in this game, actually. It's a uh, it's pretty hotly contested one here. Looks like a couple French knights going to be heading over this way. So we can use the uh, Delhi Track Stars ability to run down. <laughs> Go forth. We did get the decap, which is good. So he's coming to party. We got the Delhi uh, neighborhood guard coming. We're going to be sprinting across. And uh, the stables, I think everything is pretty much upgraded at this point. So we can pull the scholar soon, um, for sure. Nice cannon towers here. Sending a message. And it looks like the French are here. Bombarding my poor cannon tower down on the border. Okay, um, we can do hand cannoneers. Crossbows are way cheaper. Maybe we just do the armor piercing cav and the crossbow combo. So we're going to throw this army to the dogs here. He's definitely going to get it. Um, yeah, he definitely is. There's still a lot of gold on the map too. Like all these giant gold nodes, we have to make sure we get those. You know, nobody else does. So let's just keep attrition trading with the French. Let's do it. Okay, so the big Sultan Tower Elephant paying the price. I'm not seeing any mangoes. Looks like he's pulling back to the keep. Not sure, but we... Oh, no, he's got some mangoes. Okay. So we could do this. And, uh, yeah, how are the old spears doing? 
Elephant can dive a little bit. We actually are doing some good damage this time around. We, we have the numbers. If we could just keep the hand cannoneers alive, that's going to feel pretty good. Yeah, good trade for us, actually. He's got some random villagers moving. Okay. Let's take down these villagers. Uh-huh, attack. You guys scoot and shoot a little bit. Perfect. Those knights are really expensive, so the, the more we just trade crappy units into his knights, it's a, it's a huge win for us. All right, let's do this. Have you guys jump on this node here. We don't have good supply lines, though. It's one of the unfortunate things here. Gonna pull back to his arty. Looks like we got that one in our clutches. Outstanding. So you can just kind of hang out there. We got the trade post pretty much secured, and he's doing some weird long-distance mining here. We need to cancel the villager production. It's pretty bad. All right, got a lot of vills. We killed a couple of my lumber villagers. Doing me a favor, I needed to actually delete some, so. Maybe let's get some artillery now, huh? Can we build culverins with Delhi? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it's just spring alts. It's just the old spring alts. I really, really wonder how much we're getting. Oh, they said being able to see the gold is a bug. Okay, I assume it's like maybe 90 gold, somewhere in that ballpark. You know, somewhere in the in the vicinity of 90 gold. All right, so what would, how would I want to do this if we we're gonna gonna do a little something something here? So we got the wall here. If I can obviously seal that, that would be better. So let's go lumberjack that down. I need to go also just do a little bit of harass here. He's got a lot of keeps. It's pretty obvious that there's going to be some funny business coming here. Oh, sweet. Free artillery. Sign me up. Took down a cannon. A mango. Yes. Take down this cannon. If we get that cannon too, that's a huge win. Just sending a couple horsemen to go down. Uh, red, I think I'm dead. Red is pushing hard. Quick, someone wonders, so he might stop. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. Some wishful thinking for sure. Clearly, like, Dandy, we know Dandy wants a wonder, right? It's it's going to happen here um, in a minute, so. Get some Bombard Cannons, gather them up. Um, I could start doing some light fortifications down here in case I wanted to go for, like, a wonder victory. Okay, you guys have purged through this wood. Um, let's go find some more wood over here. We're not, like, super secure. And trades are coming in. Yeah, you can check when they drop off at the trade post of the market. Okay, let's do it. What's the, what's the problem with this market? These guys are just like... Oh, okay. That was a decent amount of gold. I would say not bad at all. So we have the sacred money, which is great. We have some springs now. Bombards are going to be out soon. Let's go see if we can get a little bit of a cheeky trade here. Man, he is just the lord of the keeps, though. we got to go down here. Let's see if we can get that last sacred site. The sacred victory obviously isn't something we're seriously considering at this point, but it... um, Yeah, it could happen, I guess. In a one on one situation. All right, so just stopping the keep construction. Let's hit this so he doesn't get his resources back. Yep, that's gonna drain 800 stone from him. Nice. Pretty brutal. And uh, what do we got down here? Looks like that's the dock. Please don't kill me. Homeboy saying he's weak. Don't kill him. Probably telling the truth at this point. Got the wild hogs around the map. And uh, looks like five bills. Traders. Yes, go back and trade. Good. Okay. Set up this, and then set up this wall here. Alright, let's move up. Let's go see what kind of damage we can cause. Yeah, I've seen the Stormgate footage, dudes. I'm very excited for it. Um, I'm going to cover the hell out of that game. If they have, like, good tournament support in the beginning, I am, I'm super in, in on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, for sure. Okay, a little spring all that could. Pull back. Do you have like some sort of culverins over there or something? I'm not sure. I just desired, desired peace for my empire. Dude, Dandy, Dandy is peaceful. He will win in a peaceful fashion. That is for sure. But, you know, the question is, uh, everybody else loses. So, looks like he's got culverins over there. Not sure. Let's move these spring up, see what artillery we can find. Okay. Should have had more in the queue here. Crossbows and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, there's there's his uh, culverin there. If we could just pop it, that'd be nice. So that was actually a cannon. Okay. Okay, let's get you back. Let's get you back. Have the horsemen go up and fight. More spears. 
We don't have amazing supply lines, which is certainly one of the weaknesses here, but um, it's all good. We just need to bleed his resources. It looks like both of us are having our armies wiped over and over, so he's going to move into keeps here and lose his, so... Okay, we managed to keep a spring gold and a cannon, which is good. Okay, do we have any infantry laying around? Any dudes? Yes, you just keep trading. Looking good on the lumber department. Do we have the maximum food? We do, so food is going well. Although our food economy is actually kind of bad, to be completely fair. It's not the best. We are spending quite a bit of food in this Mortal Kombat too. Yeah, well, like, he's spending the stone, I think, to, um, you know... To support his war, like to try and buffer with keeps. And if he's doing that, it means that there's no wonders like on the table here, right? Like, oh, this is a lot of stone that he's investing. Okay, let's just take down this keep if we can. Get some villagers while we're at it. Move the springs up. See if he's got any artillery. He does have a mangonel there, so let's pull you guys back. Back you go. Keep is almost down. Bombards are getting the job done, and uh. Yes, yes, and uh, having the armor-piercing horseman is pretty rad. You can see he's starting to run out of momentum a little bit, right? Like, he's making expensive armies, and my armies are just bad. So the trading is favorable, and he's also using a shitload of stone to repair this right now, so... That means there's no wonder coming uh, in the immediate future here. Alright, great. So that's a, that's a win for us. Let's get the bombards to go here. Do a little bit of scooting and shooting. Perfect. Take those knights down. Is he really building another keep right in my face? I mean, he might be able to get away with it. I don't know. Feels like it's going to be good for us. We just have the Dread Legions of Haggard Units trading upwards into his very expensive knights. Holy shit, look at this! Huge wall low on the other side. Shit's getting crazy. Alright, so that looks good there. You guys are just creating that space. Looks like we've won the fight. Um, you know, obviously winning the fight is one thing, but pushing into his lands is a, is a whole nother beast. Probably would need more bombards. Yeah, just move up, keep clearing things out as the reinforcements do pour in. Might try and snipe my cannons, which would be smart. It would definitely stifle my progress, but I think we're okay. It's a lot of stone he's using, and this is how we prevent the wonder victory. Okay, let's get that stone. Okay, yeah, man, food is a limiting factor for us. We actually are uh, running out of food in these trades. Huh, what is our villager count? 104? I mean, it feels pretty good. Um, I think we could start, like, hitting fishing again. Let's just, like, swarm a bunch of fishing and see if he notices. Okay. Yeah, we're running out of steam a little bit now. He's getting the momentum here. A lot of repairs going down. I think I accidentally built a bunch of archers in this army, too. Okay, spearmen. Let's see if we can salvage these cannons. No red palace, but... Is it just me, or did they change the way that those units look? Okay, how are we looking here? Okay, he's not going to let that shit happen. Holy shit. Alright, so we need to make some warships. Um, so let's make some Jebeks. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I was hoping to get back the fishing back, but... Doesn't look like it was meant for this world. And uh, we do have a lot on lumber here. Alright, let's see if we can like finish the wall yet. Not quite. So once they fully lumberjack that out, we should be fine. We did manage to kill a couple keeps though, so progress is progress of sorts. Let's torch that, torch that, torch that, torch that. Alright, great. Yeah, we need to like save up food, man. We can make some hand cannoneers. I think we can afford to make better quality units. We have we have a lot. A lot of gold. Uh, I don't want to buy food. I don't need to buy food that bad. It's uh, We're not like in that desperate of a situation. Alright, so let's make some demo ships. Some explosive dows. The rock has been eliminated. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Apparently his, uh, his opponents do. As the numbers... The, the hour grows late. Alright, let's get in there. Make some more demo ships. See if we can finish them off. Pull you guys in. Grab this gold from the middle of the map. Because we could always lose the ground here, right? So having that gold, I think, is going to be prudent. Go, demo ship. Go, go, mighty demo ship. Oh, hello. How did that not go? That was weird. You guys see that? We're gonna get you. X is gonna give it to you eventually. Okay, I wonder if he's gonna want to build more warships here. We have the tithe barns also giving us a lot of stone. 
which is nice. Um, let's just make a lot of spears and a lot of hand cannoneers. That feels like it's the army comp against him. That gold is extremely valuable, you know? How can we not close this? Yeah, there we go. All right. Outstanding. And then we take that gold. Build our own down there. Continue trading. Accumulating wealth. There's a nice relic sitting up there. So it's Nani Yori, Dandy Dragon, Sai, and myself. So there's four of us left. I do feel like I have a pretty vast little empire right here. Um, which is nice. Let's go exploring. Maybe this is where he's getting his food from. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? We can make some big anti-large elephants, too. I don't think of those guys terribly often. Okay. It's, you know, every, every little thing we can do makes a slight difference, right? Can we have more efficient trade? We could be going for this trade post. I kind of like the more cautious trade post there, though. That feels a little bit better. Make some mangoes. Make some spears. It's about a single tree blocking us. Yes. All right. So if we do it, it would probably be back here. Yeah, just like right here, basically. And then we can we can start setting up, you know, this sort of stuff here in a minute. Have any troops we can send up there? Uh-oh. Look at him getting a little aggressive over here. We might have to introduce him to my good friend, Du Host, to say something about all those keeps that he's setting up. Interesting, though. Uh, let's get a cannon placement here. Probably going to be a little bit of siege warfare. Let's gather up everyone here. Send in some more spears. And you guys need to set up some more docks. Do we not have room for any more docks here, really? Hmm. Alright, so do we have villagers nearby to repair? We do not. So we send in this cannon first. What has he got in there? 15 bills? See if you can put a little bit of hurt on them. We got elephants and rams coming. Shouldn't be too much of a problem here. The problem is going to become um, if Nani Yori goes for a wonder. But there still is like a relatively even amount of players here. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to do something. Yeah, he's he's got... Did they change something with French keeps? Like, I feel like they're getting like an arbalist attack here or something. Well, anyways, we should be able to knock this one down. He did kill my cannons. Let's move those mangoes up and get ready to... Because he's probably going to pop out and try and repair with the villagers. Okay, so big army coming this way. Let's go attack. You guys garrison up. All right, cool. So that keep is knocked down. We do know where the other ones are. Or it should go down. Holy shit, is it? Go forth, my spearmen. What is our eco at? 95? Okay, I'm happy with that. Considering trade, too. Probably, probably pretty good. So pretty heavy-duty little invasion here, but we do have the advantage of the home field keep, which is quite good. But obviously, we're going to lose the initial fighting and then have the reinforcements hopefully come in and get the, uh, the favorable trades. Yeah, because we have layers of keeps also. Um, this looks like there is still some naval action going here. So let's make a bunch of Jebex and just send a, send a message here. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. All right, so that fight went well. Let's send these rams to go take this down. Pull you guys back. Um, you need to keep trading. Disconnect the rams. 12 villagers, yes, making the goodies. Is there any more gold around the map that we want? Uh, there's some stone up here, so let's go get that. And hopefully the Ramstein, the Duhas hosting, will start to tame his keeps. Yeah, I don't mind this. this it sucks, but, you know, it, it, it's if Red, if Red, you know, keeps pushing into attacking Blue's corner position, then I'm happy with that, so. So now we can ram this down. Yeah, it looks like he's pulling villagers. Not a problem at all. Man, our food really sucks, though. It's, like, bad. Oh, and I never even got the uh, upgraded sun working here. All yours. I, I'm, I'm good, man. You could have it. Merry Christmas. All right, so, yeah, that looks good. Clear that space out. Seeing what it looks like up here in the neighborhood. Let's clear out some space. The red keep landmark from the French adds arbs to all your keeps. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so red's going to be securing trade again. We got to go over there. Um, and it looks like it's going to be elite horsemen. So he, he could be gold starved. I'm not sure. Um, but now we can we can definitely go up here and give blue the business at sea. And uh, let's just go make a bunch of fishing boats, because why the hell not? And then you guys need to just grab whatever gold you can off the map. Hey, 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 you know, 
What is this? What is this? Look at this. They're rebelling against me. All right. So let's go here. Set this up. And the Jebex should be able to clear this out. And our troops will make their way this way. It's got like a ram sitting right at my border here. These guys are having a party at my base. Look at this. All right. So fishing boats are coming out. Certainly feels good. Let's keep sweeping the water to make sure we're the only ones. And a lot of horsemen. All good. Let's make some more spears. Hopefully our food will surplus again, or skyrocket, I should say. Uh-huh. Make some more rams. Keep fighting here. Clean up Blue's villagers. Hopefully we can stop them before they finish the keep. Look at these villains, dude. Straight villains. He's coming from all angles. Okay, we did sh shut down that keep, which is good. But with red attacking us now, it's pretty annoying. Okay, so let's get the rams. The ram wars have begun. And it looks like we've been pushed back into our base a little bit. So we need to get you guys. Let's rebuild this wall here. And call it a day. Oh, it's all good if you want to keep going. But you don't need to... Must be part of his strategy. He's trying to, trying to make me think I'm his friend. I, w I was before you arrived. <laughs> yeah. All right, where are we at? Six bills or parrot. French looks like they're getting a little bit aggressive. We need to like get the French off our borders. We can't have that. Okay, so the rams are coming. We might need to start making some more traders because they're going to be dying quite a bit in this conflict to come. Go, Delhi Trackstar Sprinters! Get on top of the mangoes. Okay, now we can fight. Yeah, perfect. And the rams can just ride past. The, the Roher rams is what they should be called. Ooh, those spearmen did not hold up well. I'm not going to lie. They certainly had a bad time. Okay, let's see if the rams can serve as enough of a distraction for me to mu muster my forces. Because we were fighting red, so our armies got a little bit disconjointed there. Okay. Yeah, again, heavily limited on food, but we do have the mass fishing fleet now, which is going to be nice. Okay, okay, looking nice. The old rams are making a little bit of progress. Not too much, though. Can replace knight armies. Okay, more spears for the spear god. Spears for the spear throne. Oh, it's like lagging when I try and place the gatehouse. <laughs> True, you got me there. All right, how are we looking? We get a couple rams over here gathering. Yeah, he's rich. I don't know how he is affording it either. Um, let's take these horsemen up around the top. Go artillery diving. Yes, and yes, 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 yes. If we can just kill all of his artillery, then our our haggard spearman armies will shine, right? Yeah, so we just got on top of his arty and basically wiped it all out. So Not all of it, but a, a pretty good portion. A healthy portion, I would say. Um, we do have a keep up there, so let's go torch that down. Did we get his last cannon? We did. So there's no cannon, so we should be able to make a stand at our keep and kind of keep him at bay. Uh, how are we looking here? Yeah, still gathering a lot of stone. Our resources are good. We have a lot of gold, so we're kind of playing playing for the long game here. This trade route is quite treacherous, though. It's uh, it's definitely not not for the faint-hearted. Oh, hello, Jesus! My whole army was just stacked on top of each other there. Okay, let's go see if we can finish that off. And uh, we might need to make some like actual anti-siege equipment here instead of just battering rams. Which, as excited as I am to spam battering rams, you know, you gotta you gotta make other units every now and then. Okay, so how are we looking on food? Pretty good. Yeah, this this fishing operation is really gonna kind of salvage a lot of our uh, our our food woes, as they were. I need to stop making these rams. I think I still legit have rams coming out of here. Nope. Okay, you guys get back there. Let's start spring alding these bad boys down. Nice. You guys remember the dreaded spring alt scoot and shoot meadow, and people just have like thirty spring alts and just. Isn't it crazy how long ago that was? That was literally like like years ago. Okay, let's go uh, torch that keep up there in the meantime. What is he shooting at? Okay, shooting at the, the siege workshop here. Oh yeah, dude, look at that fishing. Okay, our food is, is getting pretty good now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's clean out that gold if we can. Um, any sense in us making our own knights? 
Wow, that's a lot of cannons. Holy shit. How is he affording that? I mean, I guess I could afford as many cannons as him. Food has been more the inhibiting issue. Okay, let's pull back. Do a little bit of dancing. Yes, perfect. Okay, get these cannons down, please. Nice, nice. We're getting a lot of cannons. He's going to run out of gold eventually. I th he must be trading, is what it is. Oh, hello. Okay, well, we just threw these things away, so... Might as well try and get one last snipe before they go. Cool, we got the cannon down. Worth. Uh, do we want to make basic archers for any reason? I don't think so. Crossies would probably just be straight up better if we're trying to be economical. He's got a lot. He's got a lot of stuff. M must be trade top. It's got to be trade. That's the only way. It's the only way the switchcraft could be uh, could be standing here. Okay, so let's go get this, this. Cool, just make some archers, whatever, just be cheap. Took down all the siege equipment, so his pushing is gonna be a little bit slower for now. So some haggard trade going. And our food, yeah, we're making 3,000 food a minute. I guess we just don't have a good bank of it. We've kind of been having to rebuild. What's up? What's up, man? What do you got for me? Armor piercing horse boys, effective against armor. Is he typing? If Nanny is going for me, it means wonder. Oh no! I'm not gonna. I can't have any pity on the on the very rich French. They're so smug over there with their wealth. All right, let's knock that keep down. So we traded a couple keeps. That's pretty much it. No real progress on either side. Um, not having wood is a pretty massive issue. That's what she said. Um, so we need to probably start hitting the wood here. So let's do that with Vils, and then you guys can do that too. Okay, so that should solve our wood problem. That's what she said. Yeah, so um, Is there any sort of like naval trade? I can there is some naval trade here. I don't know how much I would actually give me Let's go check up there <laughs> We must unite oh man, well there must be some serious uh, You must be desperate to come to me Okay and then we delete this, you delete this, and just kind of start scheming a little bit. I don't like, yep, but what are these, what are these knights doing riding around my border? If we're so friendly, huh? Hmm. Mm, uh, so his keep is knocking down my trade here. Okay. We're going to have to do something about that. Okay, archers, my haggard legion, go. Holy shit. How is he so getting such erect knight armies? God damn. I should, I should be making the uh, anti-large elephants. You're killing my trade. Me trade. My brain said, my mouth said, I just got it backwards. Losing, losing focus here. Uh, did I even fully upgrade? Wow, I, I just, okay. I offered to take down that keep if you assist. I think I can take it out of my own accord, thankfully. Um, so let's get some bombards coming out. Perfect. And uh, we got that coming up. Looking good. We got Vils on wood now, which is great. It's going to take a hot minute to build up, though. Purple just dove into my base. All my stone is wrapped up in those keeps. I can't wonder. I just don't believe that. Yeah, I don't believe it. I think, he's, I think there's some treachery afoot. I wish they would take the, the bottom route. Maybe they would if I just deleted this gatehouse. Oh no, but then I gotta rebuild that wall there. Okay. Alright, so let's do this and just make them take a different route. Yeah, some of them take a good route, but the other ones don't. Yes, my terrible army, go forth in battle. Okay. Let's get some more traders popping out. <laughs> What's happening to you? We got to get some intel, you know, we got to squeeze them. We got to squeeze them and see what's going down. Okay, push them out of the middle here. Um, this is obviously a bit of an issue. Yeah, we just don't have the wood. Yeah, we got those guys coming. What does our army size look like? It's 88, which is pretty decent, but we could probably delete some rams. 
cut these guys out. Need to save up some resources again. Wood is wood is hurting a little bit. We're okay on food, I suppose. We could take now that we have the fishing fleet, we could probably take these guys and have them just purge all the uh, the wood in the lands. I think the fishing fleet's going to be enough to sustain us. And let's go down. Something I've kind of neglected to do is to go see what um, this old base looks like. There could be something down here. Doesn't the Abbasid um, Hall of Wisdom count as a uh, trade post now? Oh, it does. Holy shit. Oh, oh, hello. Totally forgot about that. All right. Okay, let's do this. And call you guys and you guys. Do that. And yeah, you guys just all go down here, please. That looks like that's going to be the chosen way, for sure. So just kind of planning ahead a little bit, you know. Securing our future of sorts. Yeah, I think we should be able to build here, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's knock these villagers down. Dandy just drew his stone. <laughs> Yeah, is he? Well, I'm, I'm kind of ready. He just got 12,400 out of his guild hall. Ooh, the politics. I'm loving it. I'm loving the politics. It's back. Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty wild. All right, so you guys have done your thing. Uh, I seriously doubt there's any gold left there. We can go check. Um, worst case, we could delete these villagers. We're going to get a lot of wood. And uh, yeah. Turn, I trust in your wisdom in these tribes. <laughs> oh, man. Once I see you lose landmarks, I will believe you. My keyboard space, the, the space bar on my keyboard is broken, so it hits extra spaces. That's why when I type, it looks like that. God, so annoying. Okay, uh, control shift A. Let's get all of you guys. I only have seven traders in total, so it's not like a whole lot. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a little bit rusty, so any, any of these uh, little pro tips are greatly appreciated. Okay. All right, looking good. And uh, we probably want to take a couple of you guys. Go start torching these buildings. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Go. Trying to make some room. Ro Rohan rides with you. <laughs> oh, man. I'm happy to have a little bit of a reprieve so I can build up like a bank. That's definitely nice. Um, did I wall myself out here? These are not my walls. Okay, that's pretty troll. So we got to go through and, and knock these walls down because unfortunately uh, I didn't I didn't see that they were blocking my route here. All right, so the elephants will go take care of that. We'll hang out here in the meantime. Um, this guy's going to make it. So we're going to see how much he makes on that trade route, which should be pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, we can, we can go just kind of start wearing all these guys down. No, just go, yes. Get those prison shanks out. Clear them out. Elephants should be over soon. Yeah, these guys are just unfortunately not able to make it. That that looked like that was probably a lot of gold, so. Alright. Set this up. He's pushing me, Terran. Dude, who do I who do I believe here? Just the conspiracies. And it is what it is. Sit back and bank. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Enemy destroyed Dandy Dragon's landmark. Uh I see Dandy Dragon's landmark dying. So some uh some false claims here. Some copyright claims up in this chat. Okay, the elephants should be arriving soon. Should be able to knock down the walls. Can they not attack the walls? Do they change it to elephants? Oh, they can. It's just very slow. Okay. All right. The haggard trap traders? I know. I know. It's really unfortunate. It was so exciting, too. But what can you do? All right, so we got the sacreds. Um, I could take this time to take some ground. You villagers have gotten me a lot of wood, but I certainly will need more for the adventures that are to come. Uh, these Dumbos are knocking down the wall. It's just very, very slow. <laughs> that is pretty obnoxious, for sure, how that's going down there. Oh, my God. How are we looking on army size? Yeah, it's pretty. we have a pretty small army, actually. I don't really have any, like, stopping power to actually... I could go butcher some of these villagers. All right. You guys build those towers. Let's do a little bit of exploring. We have the big naval uh, presence going, which is good. Go over here, do a little bit of damage if we can. Buy some stone. Yes, good, Anakin. Oh, the walls are almost down. Okay. 
Who's still in the game? Purple is still here too. I don't know what's going on with purple. Oh my god, look at this. They're, they're getting into my lands. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they're not able to build some docks. All right, let's go see what he's doing here. Let's build a Bagla. Maybe he's going to drop a keep on my trade here. All right, yeah, he is. So we're going to go butcher these villagers here with our horsemen. Get out of my base, you rat. <laughs> what is he, is he going? There's no gold here. What is he doing? <laughs> he says I'm losing. <laughs> he's trying to guilt me, man. All right, let's head to the corner here. Head to the corner. Let's do it. I don't know what these villagers are doing. I don't want to know. I don't trust them. Looking very devious. Okay, so now we can get the sweet trade routes going, which should be pretty good. Look at the look at the ratty villagers. Look at these guys. What are they doing? He's like building random. Is he like trying to build pylons to summon in some uh, some Protoss units here? I don't know, but we gotta we gotta shut that shit down hard. Okay, so can we actually yeah we can do that there. Great. Okay. So you guys go up here. Perfect, perfect. That's what she said. <laughs> there is no turn, there's only Zod. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. So trade's still going like a champ. Let's keep a couple of you guys down here. Um, we do have a lot of st a big stone node. We should probably grab that, honestly. That's going to be pretty important. Rip Death Guard, Death Guard, yeah, I heard they're going to be pretty bad in 10th. It's whatever, you know. Like, I have a Chaos Base Marine army, so I'll just play them until Death Guard get fixed. I, I did look, they looked pretty bad, but we're not the only ones that are going to suck. There's definitely some other factions that got the short end of the stick. Okay, we have a decent army. Danny Dragon is allegedly getting karate chopped, but I don't know if I believe it. Let's leave this, we could have a bit more of a mobile army here. And you guys can go jump on this gold node. Not that we need it. But it's uh, certainly on the table. You seem alive to me. Yeah, he seems alive. He said he was dying and shit. You know, he's playing Palpatine over there. Let's just go Lumberjack over here to be safe in the meantime. And you guys can uh, set up another little wall here. Can we get that? He seems pretty alive to me. Hmm. I think we we can do a little something something. Like I, oh man, this is this is just so tricksy hobbitses. I guess we can lumberjack this in the meantime. It's very close, and we could respond if somebody goes for a wonder. We could like respond very quickly. So I just need to pay close attention. Um. All right. We don't need you guys out anymore. So let's have you scholars get out, and they can join the main army. We can go grab the sacred sites again. So let's go out and grab those. Yeah, we got the long distance trade, which is pretty sweet. Got a little bit of gold being gathered as well. I put uh, towers over his guild hall. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, yeah, he should be should be tamed a little bit for now. Should be tamed a little bit. All right, so let's grab you guys. Um, get a couple of these. What we wanted to do is we did have some horsemen that were going to come over here originally and do a little bit of damage, but it's like they never got around to it. Oh, can we fit through there? Oh, I hate when that happens. It's okay. We'll, we'll get to it later. All right. So let's go grab sacred. There's got to be a threat of a wonder here. How many bills do we have? We have 35 villagers right here. It's a pretty decent number. You guys come back here. Let's grab the sacred site for a little bit of money. And um, we probably want to have you guys do this, too. Perfect. And uh, we can do this. Maybe some stables as well. All right. So grabbing the sacred site. I could grab all three, honestly. That would be pretty funny. Okay, let's just grab it and then be done. Okay, we got it. He's not dead at all. He was like saying he's all dead and shit, like he's all weak. And then like we get this, you know? Just like a mass artillery army. Oh my God, bro. Look at that. <laughs> he's like, he's like acting like he's like Sheev Palpatine over there. All right, how are we looking? 
Okay. Looking good. So Sacred Sight isn't going to last long. We'll get a little bit of money off it, I suppose. Better than nothing. And we got more bills. Let's get them on gold. Sacred Sight lost. This is a, a bit of an interesting standoff. Yeah, this is the first game. This is the first game here. Um, we have a little bit of resources. Let's get some counterweight trebs. We got you guys. Is there any more gold to be had? It looks like there is. Um, we can go down here too and build a little bit of a wall off. I'm going to go explore the idea. Yep, just setting up infrastructure here. Let's have you guys attack, attack, attack. Yes, take down all the buildings, precious. Take them all down. It's going to take a hot minute for those villagers to get the job done, but they will eventually. All right, villager, go back. Where does it say we have five? Oh, these guys never got their trade route, huh? It's weird. So he seemed like he was dead, but, you know, I don't think that's the case. Nanny is super entrenched in the northern corner. Ah, all right then. Well, it would seem that he is very entrenched in the northern corner. So we got all this. Send some horsemen back here. We need to make space. This is like, we can't just have all these stupid buildings here. Villagers were going to do it, but it was going to take a while. Yeah, this is the first game. It's the first game. We're going to do another one too. So if you're not, the good times will come. You probably are also. Yeah, he's like acting all innocent and shit. <laughs> all right, so we can buy a little bit of that. Do we have any stone left on the map? Not really, unfortunately. Um, I think there's a gold node up here, which would probably be prudent to go grab that. All right, villagers are torching shit down. Horsemen should be on the way over with a little bit of a uh, little bit of help here in a minute. So I just had to pull the dandy strat AFK for like ten minutes. Where are we at? <laughs> Purple is AFK. Oh, I should have I should have gone for a wonder. What are these guys doing? Holy shit. Oh, they, he must have had a great wall off down here or something. Okay. These bills are just sprinting across the map. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get you guys. Create a little bit more space here. And uh, we need to secure this wall off here. Yeah. All right. So, the plot thickens. Our guys are here, horsemen have gotten there, and they're going to be torching down buildings, which will give us a little bit of room to work with. Okay, let's start working on this. Obviously going to be a lot of siege equipment coming. Wanted to see a casted island FFA. Oh, that could be kind of fun. Set up for like some random ass towers over here. Um, is there anything in the middle we really want to accomplish? Not really. The world unites against me. I, he's playing the victim. Is he the victim, though, is the question. Is he the victim? Yeah, you're going to corner Wonder. Hmm. Obviously, we got some vulnerabilities in our, our lands. I have some money. All right, so we're making some progress. We could set up a keep here in the middle. Let's uh, start on that. Blue is up there. Um, red is over here. Red would probably just come across the middle. Yeah, that would be my guess. Blue like lost some landmarks, but I don't know. I don't know if that really matters too much. Stuck is a strong word. <laughs> Buy a little bit more stone. Fortify, fortify. <laughs> Dandy is LARPing as Napoleon. I think we got like pretty much all the upgrades we want to, yeah. So we're, we're sitting pretty comfortable here. We Our last landmark's hidden back here too, so it'd be hard to landmark snipe us. You would have to, have to do it the good old fashioned way. All right, let's get on gold. And uh, looks like all of our military infrastructure is going up here. And this can be in seven. Are we looking? Let's set up some more stables. Stables are probably one of the best defensive like landmark pieces, I would say. This is like set up some random towers to get vision. I feel like that's always a good idea to do that kind of stuff. Long distance trade of the gods is still going. Um, we could get pressed from this side. Let's like creep up a little bit and see what our options are here. So this is the Abbasid player who uh, either disconnected or died earlier. Uh huh. And yeah, it's gonna cost a little bit of stone, but it's gonna be worth. It's just in case somebody tries to like invade us from that side, then it'll buy us like a hell of a lot of time. 
Need more spears? Yeah, I do. I need a lot. I need a lot of things. This army will definitely die, like fold over pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Where's our marketplace? Uh, that can be control group eight, and then we can buy some stone. Yeah, I don't. I legit think there's like no, no more stone on the map. Like it's not gonna happen. Don't know. I'm gonna kind of poke up here and see what this army looks like. Okay. Let's go C. <laughs> he says arena. I need to like, yeah, poke and prod him a little bit. Nanny army is, is at me. This is perfect. So we can we can go like, you know, double attack him here. Make him feel loved. You and your stupid keeps. Just all over the place, just trolling me. I'm just going to lose this whole army just like, like two keeps here. Oh, are we going to be able to get this down? I don't think so. Yeah, he's got too many keeps here. We do have our trebs now though, so we can come knock down some of these bad boys. Perfect, so we freed up some supply. I'm afraid if your reputation betrays you, corner one, <laughs> is what he says. Oh my god. Purple's up here. I don't know how strong he is, but, um, you know, that's something to consider. Something to consider. Um, you, on the other hand, must uh, tower this up. So this is like a security measure, as somebody might go for this to try and come back here. All right. Get some spears out here. Start knocking down keeps. God damn. He can reach me? He can reach my trebuchets with that thing? Holy shit. That's crazy. Some strong, strong tech right there. Alright. Buy a little bit of that. Looking good. And, you know, I think uh, I've lost a lot of games because of apprehension and just being overly conservative so let's just have a little bit of fun yeah let's just have a little bit of fun here all right can we do some annoying walls yes unleash the annoying walls of doom unleash them my friends all right uh-huh. Do we build a wall here ever? Doesn't look like it. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I mean, we have 36 here, but... Let's go as far back as possible. Could make a difference. Do it! Oh no, is that villager giving me up? Holy shit. Okay, well I guess we go right here. Can I not? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, we baited out the wonder! It's okay, because look like everyone was waiting! Oh my god, that's so funny! I don't think we can do it quick enough now. No, so let's just cancel that. Okay, we baited out the two wonders from the other players! Alright, so now we get back to lumberjacking, and we go sacred. 100%. We go for sacreds. So, let's do this. Yeah, there's... Oh, they were just waiting. He had way more than me. Yeah, he had way more than me. There's no way. Holy shit. Oh my god, they were waiting, bros. Okay, let's get here. There was no way I could have beaten them. I only had 36 villagers, so there was zero chance for me to pull off a wonder there. I've been politicking against you this whole time sitting in my corner. <laughs> no, you're good. Well, dude, I couldn't reach him anyways. He was too far. It wasn't politics. He was on my border with keeps. All right, so now we go for sacred sites. And do we have any scholars left? I don't think so. So we need to get some scholars out stat. So you guys come up this way. Yes, yes. Let's move up. Do this. Gonna get sacreds to force delete if you want, Dandy. Actually, I probably shouldn't say anything yet. Oh, Sai so got it first! Look, Sai so got the wonder first. Oh, man. I help no one, says Dandy Dragon. Wait, is he listening? You shouldn't be listening to the stream. He's naughty, dude. Okay. So let's get you guys up here. That might be defended, I'm not sure. But let's get you guys up, and we can do a little bit of this. One, two, and three. A couple of you guys to set up the uh, Scholar tech. Yes, perfect. We're going to need a full army here. So Spears. Cheap horsemen, let's just get kind of haggard units. Let's do this. We should probably get the scholars out before we really uh, go too crazy here. 
And then you guys, let's set up a little uh, little dock operation so people can't run by as easily on the sacred. Uh huh. How much time do we have? We have a couple minutes. Okay, we're okay. So red is riding about now. We're we're doing the the one haggard trick we have in our playbook here. Looks like there's some random buildings here, so let's move over this way. Good. Keeps coming up. Homeboy's gonna grab this. Uh oh, we might not be allowed to though. Although we have triple keeps here, so maybe. It depends if he wants to attack or not. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Oh, where'd the scholar go? Did he just die or? Where the hell did that scholar go? Could have sworn I just had a scholar on that landmark there. Okay, let's build this a little bit deep set, see if we can get away with it. And get our whole army heading down here, and now we start grabbing this one. Oh, Dandy's Dandy is uh Dandy, we have to force him to delete. Oh no, Dandy's gonna he's gonna betray me here. The betrayal. Oh, and Red's Red's doing it too. Oh oh it's Nanny Yori. Oh, it's Nanny Yori who has it. Okay. Unfortunately, we're getting trolled pretty good right here. We had a window of time. Okay. So let's try and grab this if we can. We dove that shit. So let's just secure this one, make sure it's safe before we try something else here. So these guys, yeah, we lost the keeps. Um, we might be able to get this sacred, I think. It's gonna be tight, but. Yeah, no, it was it was uh, Nanny Oris who was first. He, he was, he was uh, way stronger. Okay, so we're gonna get this one, which means we just have to get the last one. I mean, this one is somewhat well defended, but not really. Okay, so let's get the trebs. Have the trebs come over here. Spears and hand cannoneers. I don't think we have enough time, though. How is uh, Nanny Dandy not attacking up in the north is the question. There's no way. If nobody's going to help me, I can't do this alone. Damn shame, Jimmy. Damn shame we tried. We could easily get him to delete the wonder, though, if we um, if we if Dandy worked with me. You got to help me get sacred. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there in time. Okay, so let's start doing like a little bit of a key push. We have like, what, a minute and a half? Okay, so they're here. We can start nailing this, get you guys back there. And then we can set up another one as soon as that's done. No, what are you doing? Dandy, don't you want a chance to win? What is he doing? He's, he, he's just embracing chaos. Okay, so if he's if he's gonna shut down the keeps, then I don't think we're gonna have a chance of stopping this quick enough. Yeah, and Andy Ori's gonna get it. Oh my god. At least attack Wonder North. Yeah, we got the keeps up, but it's not gonna be quick enough. Because we're gonna get shut down over here. You see the, uh, yeah, yeah, so there's it's not gonna happen. What happened to the good old days when we would work together to take down tyrants, huh? King, King uh, Tur Turidin stands alone. I don't think we're going to be able to get it. I mean, we could do like a do host push north, but it's not going to be enough. Damn, man, damn. Uh, going to try, but Dandy is blocking. Okay, so we just take this anyways as a bit of a, you know, income source. And we push north with what villagers we can. We got the bombards going down. Grabbing the sacred, but yeah, there's no because they could just take this one back whenever they want to. There's no way that was gonna work. Um, let's go set up another keep here just to be safe. Maybe, just maybe, we can get a little something something out of it. The greed of men. I know you ain't kidding. How the hell am I gonna get up there? Oh my god, how is that gonna happen? All right. Um, I would wager he's pretty entrenched. His trade is dead. Sounds good. Um, sounds good, my dude. Good, good work, brother. Good work. Okay. Let's set up a million stables here, because that's pretty much all the haggardness we're going to be able to do. Sounds like you want to team with your friend. <laughs> I just called him. I was like, sounds like you want to team up with your homie instead of trying to win. All right, let's get that keep up. 
All right, so we're gonna move north with our Haggard army. It's it's what we got, you know. You gotta work with the scraps. You gotta work with the scraps. Nomad says your potential allies DC'd. I know, I know. I miss you. I miss you guys already. Um, purple looks like they've got a pretty good little economy. I, I legit think the only like I have to run through this gentleman's base here to get up to the north. So that's that's a Trixie Hobbitses for sure. Uh, we don't have enough for a wonder at this point. And the thing is, even if we stop the wonder, purple has one like right behind it. So yeah, look at this. Look at this troll shit. Oh my god, dude! Don't you have anything better to do? Look at this. Look at this. What is this? Zillion all eco and all in. I know. I'm kind of thinking about it, but. Like, I don't know if blue is going to help or not. That's the question. Um, maybe. We're going to build some siege here. Okay, build some siege. Build some siege, boys. Looks like we were able to secure the sacred site, but not before we lost a lot of villagers. So. All right. Horseman, go forth. <laughs> Row her and ride. Ride out and meet them. Okay, we got to, like, ram. I, I don't know if he's helping. I'd have to see. I mean, he could be telling the truth that... Oh my god, why are you like this? Why are you like this? <laughs> why are you like this? <laughs> oh my god, bro, look at this. See, I could have probably all in on him earlier and maybe taken him out. But the thing is, it's like... Then somebody else is just going to wonder, you know? Alright, so we clean up the scraps. We got the keep set up. We get another keep just for good measure to send a message. Okay, our army's in his base. So let's just start killing infrastructure for now. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Let's get these guys moving up here. There's no way. Oh, man. He's got like a fully erect army here. Yeah, I mean, we'll try and fight it, but it's going to be ugly. We have a lot of horsemen coming. Uh-huh. Okay, let's just get horsemen mustering this way. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're beating this army. Maybe if somebody else is helping. I don't know how rich he is. Okay, so keep scooting and shooting with the hand gunners. Let's see if we can like lure them back and then get the horsemen to dive the artillery. Which is the game plan. All right, let's get the horsemen in there. Honestly, I really like the new Delhi artillery or uh, cavalry units. They're super cool. All right, so we're going to sneak in. The trap has been sprung. It partially worked. Um, but I think we just do a ride by to his wonder. So like see what it looks like up there. Because we need a road map of, uh, of, you know, future DLC here. So we're going to go figure it out. And in the meantime, we'll kill some artillery and... Ideally, if somebody else is attacking, then we can just be the horseman, like dive, dive kind of utility person. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how far we can get. I do have the sacreds, which is cool. Um, we don't really have this one entrenched too well. We'll throw another keep there. You never know. Yeah, so we didn't get too far. Um, a couple horsemen getting in there. They do have the armor piercing, which is kind of cool. The mace horsemen. But man, I uh, I do not see this going well. We could do a mass elephant army. I think it's just me, lads. I think it's just me. I don't think anybody else is attacking. Hmm. I'm pushing to the left side, good man. <laughs> I think Salty what <laughs> Salty Dragon is in his base. <laughs> we got we have Smeagol and now we have Salty Dragon. <laughs> we create the names. All right, let's see here. Heading up to the north, doing a little bit of a ride by. Good. Good. All right, let's keep going, baby. Pull some bills up here, see what we can do. Holy shit, he's entrenched. Oh, dear God. I mean, hey, whoever got the wonder first is probably going to win this game. We're all pretty entrenched, but this is uh, this is looking pretty good. I, I would wager there's going to be a wall back here. So we're just going to ride through, try and get some intel. I'm pulling villagers to get the um, to get the mass battering rams coming out. Oh my god, who's gonna make it? Okay, so we made it pretty far back. We got an eye. Um, we know what is here. Let's see if there's any vulnerabilities. No, of course not. Dude, Nanny is a great player, so not gonna leave any vulnerabilities like that. Okay, let's do this, and you guys can start knocking random shit down here. His army is on me. Oh, look at Dandy coming through in the fourth quarter, huh? I like it. I like it. The comeback. Let's move in. How much time do we have? The problem is um, we're just going to lose to Size Wonder if we take out Nani Yori here, which is tough. 
Okay. So we're going to do a keep chop here. And the reason why we're doing that is just to uh, get the... Uh, so we can't be pushed out as easily. And then we just build Mass 2 Host in the base, and that's pretty much that. All right, so let's just keep pushing. Here we go. Yes, get it going. Man, these Delhi Cavalry trade pretty well into the French Knights. Like, just like point for point? I don't know. It could be pretty cost-effective, actually. Look at these horsemen. They're getting that bump and grind going nice and good. So we only got two minutes left. That's going to be a tall order. Um... But yeah, this is why we built the keep, so it was uh, would be a little bit harder to push us out. So let's get under the keep here. Um, we can also make some some more elephants and fight under the keep. Um, we don't have a cannon emplacement, but yeah, I don't know. We might need to build a second keep here just to try not to get pushed out, actually. He's got a big core of units, but we do have a lot of haggard horsemen being sent in. The Zerg. The Zerg is upon us. All right, so his army gets pushed back. It's reset. And uh, yeah, then you guys get on these. Start building some rams, I guess. I don't know. We could go for a trebuchet snipe, but it's pretty deep back there, and the red keep is also in position. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think we're going to get it anyway, so I'm not going to really press him to delete his wonder. But yeah, like normally that would be the etiquette. But we would ask purple to uh, to delete it. So I do have the sacred victory in three minutes, guys. The moral victory of sorts. Okay, so there's purple there. Um, purple is ramming from this side. All right. What is what is this? What is the point of this? What is this, Dandy? <laughs> what, what is this, bro? Why are you like this? He's not helping us. I know it. He's probably not. Why, why are you like this, bro? Uh, to be honest, I do think it's hilarious, and I'm enjoying it. It's adding a lot of spice to the game. A little bit of salt makes food good, you know? You need a little bit to keep that flavor going, but there's no way in hell we're going to get there. Maybe with another five minutes... Purple and I could get there, but um, I don't think it's going to happen, yeah. All right, so let's get on the keeps here. Yeah, just get a torch, and you just get horsemen coming up. Yes, please. Um, yeah, so we have a good momentum now for sure, but um, what, what is this? Like, why this, bro? Of all the things you could be doing, spending your APM on, it's helping the guy who's winning. <laughs> the evil villains. Evil. Yeah. You got it? Sounds good. All right, guys. I think this is the end of the road. We got 50 seconds left, and uh, I'm just going to spam out a bunch of trebs and go for one last push. I don't have them. Probably in the garage or something. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. Ram's clearing up. <laughs> Look at this shit. I think he's just doing it to troll at this point. He, he knows. But, like, this is this is where his knights are going. Like, maybe with one more person pushing this entire time, maybe we get in there and stop it. Like, we actually made progress. Like, we're making progress right now. But um, with this kind of help, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna be great. Cannon Tower's here putting some hurt on these knights, that's for sure. Oh my god, that's so troll, dude. The salty dragon strikes again. Well, got a lot of trebs, ladies and gentlemen, but it's not enough time. GG, well played. GG! It was a fun game. It was a good warm-up. Now we go into the next one. And uh, I honestly felt Delhi was very strong. I felt like they were very, very strong there. So it's going to be a victory for Nani Yori. Now, we get to see if Blue was actually helping. This is the big conspiracy. This is the big question. Let's see if he was helping. Was he pushing, maybe, with part of his army? Uh, Looks like he was on his walls. Yeah, kind of. Very, very half-hearted. He had at least 20 knights down here. Yeah, GG. Well played. Nice corner position, too. The fact that his main base was in the corner made that like pretty a pretty uh, solid hold because you have to push through his base. GG. Well played. We tried. We tried. But, you know, we, we fell. We let, we let, you know, the Dark Lord prosper. The men squabbled against um, amongst one another instead of uniting. What we should have done is gone for the sacred. Forced the deletes of the two wonders. If Dandy and I work together and then, um, okay, another game's up. Anybody who didn't play in the last one or if you were in the last one, but you disconnected, feel free to rejoin and we'll do another one of these bad boys. Um, we had to go for the sacred. Yeah, Sai, you did great. You did great. You did really good. But we needed to work together on the sacred sites. If all three of us just immediately rush sacreds and I can even just leave one of the sacreds undefended and let one of the players defend it. Um, that's, that's how you shut down that kind of stuff. That's how you do it.
We got Ezra, we got Masso, we got a lot of great players in here. Uh, who do we want to play? Are Mongols a meme now? Are they good? What's the deal with Mongols? Hey, welcome. Let's go. We got Nomad in here. The crew is all ready. All right, so what map do we want to do? Oh, FFAs are the best. They're super fun. All right, huh. Is there any like weird maps we want to do? Let's do a Warring Islands. Yes. Migration. Well, initially save players. Oh, let's do a migration. Players must soon migrate to more prosperous lands, both safe. That looks fun. All right, let's do it. Fire it up. I'm going to go random. Uh, uh, do we want to go random? Let's go. Let's go Roos. See how this goes. Looks like everyone's set. We're going to do a little bit of migration, baby. Thank you guys for joining tonight. It's a lot of fun. Always cool hanging with the old age community. Uh, Arena Emperor says there's a new map called Migration. It's a unique playstyle where you start on a small island with no resources and must move to a continent. That's pretty fun. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, GG. You played great last game. You played great. Mordor wouldn't uh, unite against you, Naniori. You were too strong. Most of my mod maps are migrations too, actually. Yeah, is that true? Well, it's a great. It seems like a great map. So we got French. We got Chinese. Double Abbasid. Uh, we have HRE would be fun, but I feel like it's going to be hard to get relics on the island. Yeah, it's going to be hard. I've never played this map. This is my first time. It's my first time playing. It's going to not going to be a super long stream tonight, but it'll be my last stream for almost a, yeah, about five or six days since I'm heading out of town on Sunday. But um, I'll be back next Wednesday, I believe, and we can go from there. Maybe we'll see. This might be the last one. Depends on how it goes, but it'll probably be at least two hours, like if not more. So, yeah, it's not going to be fast. It's not going to be fast. Uh oh. DB and I fighting for the potato loading speed. Who's going to get it? So it begins the greatest battle of our time. It's a good map for FFA, you guys say? Yeah, seems so. Dude, we, we just could not get to that beautiful corner wonder. I love that the, my favorite part of last game was as soon as I built, I like started to build a wonder, two wonders just plopped down instantly. It's just, <laughs> it was just everyone was just waiting, just spring loaded. Oh man. There's no way I was beating them. I think they had like 50 plus villagers on theirs. Yeah. China. China probably always wins those wonder races, right? They've got to. Hmm. Oh, that's some good water right there. That's the good stuff. Classic AWE2 map. This one is oh, nice. DB loading slow. We got the dolphin picture over there. I should use my season one conqueror icon. Just relive the glory days when I was actually okay at this game. Potato Wars. Yes, the potatoes are battling. Not for long, though. I got a new rig coming in. Going to be getting it set up uh, when I get back from my trip. And uh, yeah, we're going to be living the good life with fast connections and uh, good times for all. All right. So yeah, that's right. Bruce might not be super good with like the lack of bounty, huh? Okay, let's do this. Set up that. Yeah, I guess the key thing is going to be getting as many hunting cabins as possible. Right, that's going to be pretty big. Get that sweet bounty. Alright, let's see this. Oh, it's lagging a little bit. You guys seeing this lag? Holy shit. Well, good thing Age of Empires, you know. Not the biggest deal in the world if you got a little bit of lag, so we should be okay. French fortifying their own starting island wondering seems like a good strategy looking at Ezra. Yeah, yeah. Certainly seems like it might be. Could be the case. We'll get the dreaded Kremlin on this island, I think. Uh, although no, high trade house is too many. Like you have to take high trade house. I feel on a map like this. Um, so we're currently getting number of trees being counted by the hunting cabin. Did they change the way hunting cabins work? Does it just not show me how much how much resources I'm getting here? Hmm, interesting. Head over here. Go check it out. Some people try to be corsair lords and take over islands, but usually victory goes to whoever controls the mid island. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, like being a haggard corsair master on the outside doesn't seem like it's like going to be the Strongest strategy around. Um, we can go for an early forest trade, because why the hell not? Obviously, you need to get that lumber going. No, no, now we just chill out. You can rest the hands a little bit. And uh, you guys can go fight here. Take these sheep over there. Get you guys on this. And looking good. All right. Turn, get that con... Uh, getting yeah, yeah, we got it. We got Conqueror two seasons. The two seasons we actively played. Uh, I didn't play two of the four seasons, really, but we still managed to get it twice, so I'm happy about that. Just mouth-breathing on the English is the way to do it. If you guys are looking for a quick path, I don't know if they changed English, but man, mouth-breathing on English is for sure the easiest way, or at least it used to be, to get the uh, the old Conqueror rank. 
All right, so yeah, I think we can set up fishing. We're kind of in a bit of a central position, which definitely kind of sucks. But um, maybe we take a quick transport ship to the middle and set up like a tower there. They change hunting cabins. They can now overlap, but the trees only get claimed by one cabin. Got it. You're hoping for me to play with bow chads? Yeah, Chinese warships are nasty. Rusa's seems like they're a pretty good island tip too, though. Like, good wood economy is ob obviously very big, and, um... Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> wood is important, and the Rus do wood well. So we could set up another hunting cabin here, but I think saving up for a transport ship, and then we can uh, change it. Yeah, we got one Chinese player. We got one Chinese player in here. Just one. Just Uno. Uno, Uno Chinese players. All right, we're going to go explore the other islands. I, I need to find some bounty. I need to get to the middle and get that bounty because with only 50 Haggard bounty, we're going to be the Lord of the Pits, right? So to me, that's why this is uh, this is pretty important. So let's have you guys turn in, come down here, and uh, we can do that and have you come over here as well. And then the rest of the stuff can just be fishing boats. All right, so let's get you. All of you guys jump in there. All aboard. Yes. Yes, let's go. Cool. So we got our goon squad. I wish it wouldn't show villagers as idle in your boat. I wish it I wish it wouldn't. It, it's kind of troll. Like I keep seeing that in my head. I'm just like, oh my god, I, I have idle villagers somewhere. And I tab to it over and over. Um, deep sea fishing. I think I saw some over here. Yeah, perfect. Ah, we have arrived at fertile lands. It would seem. All right, let's go check this out. Okay, so we see the deer bounty, which is excellent. Have you guys set up a uh, little tower? Probably should. Yeah, we could just help with the bounties. Okay, villagers, keep doing your thing. Let's keep looking. It looks like we're on... A, I don't know how, what kind of resources we got on this island, but at least we have um, 100 bounty now. Okay, it looks like there's a big gold node over there. That's exactly what I'm looking for. To kind of like anchor down and, and set up shop, right? Okay, minions, let's go. Let's keep gathering, seeing what the island looks like. Got relics, we got sacred sites. So it's like a giant, giant kind <clears> of <throat> big cannon. Big island here. Masso hitting feudal age, which makes me think he's not fishing, which is kind of strange. Or maybe he is. Oh, he's, he's probably playing HRE. Okay, that, that explains it. So we're going to set that up and get that gold off the middle. And uh, you can come back, bring over some more villagers. In the meantime, we keep exploring. And we found the big gold node, which is good. So we'll secure that and hopefully make it hard for people to get. Um, I'm thinking of setting up a landmark here, actually. Um, trade house is probably best here. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. All right. So let's just start mining that. Looks good. So we've gotten there. Let's get more fishing boats. And the trade soon to come as well. Oh, more, more bounty up here. Did, is that the bounty I got? Oh, I did miss bounty. I'm playing Roost. That's right. So I need to get that. I feel like just building a single keep on your uh, your main island is probably not a bad idea either. Make sure you don't get backstabs. Yeah, I know. I totally blanked. I'm playing Roos. There we go. Don't worry. I won't leave you hanging for too long. Yes. Give me the bounty, my friend. Uh-oh. What is this? Somebody coming to explore my islands, eh? You're going to you're gonna certainly want to turn around. There you go. All right. Somebody getting a little bit hog wild there. Set up another hunting cabin here. Yes, give me all the hunt. All right, looking outstanding. Fishing boats are coming up in droves. Kremlin is good, but uh, the high I think the other landmark is just too good to pass up on. It gives you um, like infinite stone trade in the late game, and it, it, it seems like it would be a foolish decision to uh, to skip that. So, hey, you know what? We ended up getting some like respectable bounty. So, and we haven't even explored the entire island yet. So. Yeah, I think we can just use wooden fortresses instead of Kremlin. Okay, how are we looking here? One of these. Pretty close to teching up ourselves. Hunting cabin is there. And the boat. Let's load up some bills. Take him here. Take him to the promised land. And uh, we can head down here. Perfect. All right, let's go here. And you guys, go ahead and turn in. And set up the uh, the Kremlin right here. Not Kremlin, excuse me, Golden Gate. Golden Gate just feels too strong to pass up on, guys. Feels a little bit too strong. Okay, and let's go ahead and get another scout going. And then we can get Wheelbarrow. Should be in the next age soon. 
Let's keep looking for any bounty. We do have some boars on the island, so I think I'm gonna make a bunch of cab and just kind of do that. All right, dropping off the old reinforcements. So now we can turn you into a fishing boat. I think at this point it's fine. That's gonna be enough bills for this middle island, and uh, cool. They can just go do this. Although we can honestly jump on some stone too. Although I feel like Fast Castle is going to be more prudent here, just so we can get relics off this island. So let's keep hunting around. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like I'm one of the first settlers. But, um, is this... Yeah, 28 gold a minute. Okay, so it does tell me how much I'm getting, actually. Okay, so a couple of you guys. Let's set this up. The dreaded supply block of the gods, never to be forgotten. All right. So we got another scout coming out, or at least we should. And we see the other settlers, and uh, it looks like... Nobody's cleaning up the old bounty. I'm seeing you around. Somebody's setting up a TC here. It's the old Wookiee. Oh, it's the old Wookiee. I love the name. Hopefully he doesn't kill my my scout here. Maybe maybe my uh, the ghost of my dog will will aid me in this conquest. Don't do it, yellow. Don't do it. All right, so that's probably enough on gold. Let's get you guys here. And uh, we can just start on wood here, which looks good. We got a fishing boat, so let's just fish right here. And then two, three, four, five. And what do we got? School of Cavalry there. All right, so they're getting a little ornery. We should be back up on the wood department. Let's go ahead and get the increased lumberjacking. Looking good. And now we need to get some knights up on here. So we can kind of defend our lands. Barbecue of the sun. Man, ev like everybody's setting up on the islands here. Holy shit. Okay, so you guys weren't kidding when you said that was like, that was the strategy, was to set up on the, the Dread Islands. Yeah. See this, switch to golds. Take you back, drop you off here. We don't have any stone at the moment, but we could trade for some. But uh, I think we're okay. HRE Castle Age, man. Are they just going to steamroll somebody on the, uh, on the island? Could be us. Definitely could be us. Okay, let's do this, and this. Make a roost night. And we can start gathering a little bit of gold on the main island. Still focusing heavily here. Let's get some more fishing ships. Great. This is a cool map. I really like this one. It's, it's quite a bit of fun. Yeah, I think it's rad. The docks are coming up. We drop that off. Let's go see what we can find over here. We need to get the knights out so we can uh, take down the... Uh, the incant, the animal stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. How are we looking? So knights out. Let's make one more knight. Just kind of cap it off at that. I think that's going to be enough. Um, we got a blacksmith coming up. We see the dread boar, and we do see a blue TC right next to us. Wow. Okay. So what we should probably do is maybe preemptively go and like secure this big stone node up here with the tower. I feel like that wouldn't be a bad idea. And we're about to get to the next age, so let's sell some food. Um, and we can do the Abbey of the Trinity in the middle, which I think is going to be fine. We'll do it next to this tower to at least have some defenses. All right. So let's make some knights. Clear some ground. Once we get one more knight, we'll go take down the boars. The dreaded early knights. Okay. Try and get that bounty maxed out, which would be pretty awesome. Get some upgrades. And, uh-oh, a little, little sneaky, sneaky villager right there. He says legit, why every time is it you, DB? Oh my god, we got some forbidden blood feud between these guys. Some long forgotten hatred. <laughs> DB must be like a high level player or something, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go see if we can find any more bounty on the island here. Oh, looks like there's some deer down there, which would be, certainly be welcome. Two, three. Okay, fishing's going good. Bruce Knights are coming out. Yes, let's give me that bounty. Oh, Blue. Blue, what are you doing, man? You building a tower up on my border here? Okay, the scout can stay here and finish these guys off. But, you know, now we gotta, we gotta go in like a wrecking ball over here. Okay, let's get you. Let's get you guys on golds. Blue is building towers on my border. I wasn't gonna attack, but now I am. We gotta go for it now. Um, we need to get the ranged armor upgrade before we uh, get too crazy here. All right, so let's get that. Uh, looking good. We can set up another hunting cabin here. Go here and here. Get the knights upgraded to the next age. Although the tower there is a little bit annoying. All right, so and it looks like, yeah, landmark up there. 
Everybody's heading to the castle age. So who is who is blue? Blue is God A. Okay. Okay, let's go get relics. Relics and bring it back. And is there any more relics really to grab here? I don't think so. It feels like pretty bare bones. Let's get one here. Have a couple of you guys jump on this. Should be fine. So once we get the ranged armor done, I think we can uh, we can dive in. Did it finish? Yeah, it looks like it did. I think. Cool. So let's go. Uh, let's go do this. Take what we can. It's like there's two relics here. We definitely need to start gathering some stone. Okay, so that's going down. Get a couple more of you guys. You could obviously just start making spears, but it's time. Fell deeds awake, dude. There's gonna be some fell deeds right now for sure. His TC is gonna feel the wrath of these fell deeds. All right, so let's get that momentum in there. Let's go grab the relic fr from the base. He says no, Terran. You you towered my borders. What? He was towering my borders. He towered me, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has to be this way. It has to. All right. We need more fishing boats. I was uh, gonna be all peaceful and shit until until he towered me, and then and then the the Fire Nation attacked. All right. So we need to clear this off. Secure a little bit of land here. Take down the bills. Outstanding. Uh, we got you popping out to grab that. So at least we got three rel three relics. And he's going to be cleared off here. Let's drop this off. Looks good. Let's grab this. Um, and we should probably set up another tower here just to be safe. We could for sure get attacked pretty heavily. Now for wrath. Now for ruin. Ere the red sun rises. Okay, we keep pushing. Keep getting the goods. Could be attacked at any time. 300, 385 bounty isn't bad. Um, I think there's a boar down there. So, yeah, we just kind of keep going here. It's costing us a lot of gold, but I think it's worth. Um, I wonder what naval trade is like on this map. Like, what the options look like. Almost have enough for a keep. Uh, I do think I'm going to drop one on the main island first to make sure we don't get our main base sniped. I mean, not the, the middle is definitely more important, but, um, you know, who, who wants that? Nobody wants that. Okay, so you want to move past the units first, and then you attack, because it gives the attack order then. So we, we're going to get a lot more value there. Okay, let's send more units. Put some, some HRE man here trying to have a little bit of fun at our expense. No, that's probably not the best spot, honestly. We should probably secure the, uh, the Abbey of the Trinity. So you just have, like, random bills hiding in these towers? Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So the knights are pursuing. Um, next up, we're going to try and get something on the mainland here. We can delete this guy. He's not going to do anything for us on that island. Okay. Keeps coming up. We got the two warrior monks. Um, I see some demo ships lurking in the shadows. Just set up some random spring old towers here to uh, help secure our territory. And it looks like blue might have been pushed off the island, so that's nice. The one thing we don't really have going is um, villager production here, so... Set up a tower, set up a tower. Massa with the dreaded Imperial Age. Jeez, that's crazy. All right, let's get you guys on wood. Bruce Knight's pretty jacked, of course. Um, probably want to get a town center on the um, on the mainland here. So we're going to do that next. So we don't overproduce villagers. All right. So it looks like blue has been swept from the lands. Um, we can ride around and keep seeing if we can honestly just get like lucky sweeps. <laughs> the Witch King of Turinmar. Yeah, that's basically us. I don't know why I just did the food upgrade. That was stupid. Yeah, whatever. We'll just let it slide. Yeah, we can cancel that, can't we? Yeah. So. A lot of people reaching Imp, which makes me think I should be reaching Imp. So I'm going to just kind of build up for that right now. Um, I could build Chad Sky a tower. Who is this? This is the old Wookiee. God, he's going to make me feel guilty. He looks pretty entrenched here, but yeah, we can't be... Oh, Red, Red's up there. Well, that's Ezra. Ezra could be... Pretty strong. Ezra's a very good player, so. Um, I think we do Chad Sky a tower on the middle too. I think it's just more important to hold the middle down, right? I think it's more important. Alright, so we got you guys. Um, Chad Sky on the island is kind of cool for a fallback too. Do we want, like, because then we have our landmark split two and two, which is kind of nice. Yeah, let's just do a Chad Sky on our main, our main base. So at least we have somewhere to fall back if things go south here. 
And it like won't be easy to just follow us up and kill us, basically. Okay, so it's on fire. Let's take our army here. Ezra's got like a decent core of spearmen, but nothing too crazy here. Um, so Chad Sky will keep us from getting like sniped out in our main base. Let's set up archery ranges. I really like archer cav with Roos. It, it feels like a very, very clean army comp. Okay, let's do this, this. We have fishing upgrades. Probably should uh, get a little bit of naval investment going as well. And yeah, we're chilling. I don't know if Ezra is battling anybody. He does have a, what appears to be a keep over there. Uh, Orange has got that. Blue is pretty much off the island. Okay, so that's done. You guys can purge the last of this. Yeah, I can get nuked, but Chad Sky is pretty hard, to, and I can just repair it. I think I think it's worth having there. Could be a mistake. Might end up regretting it, but for now, I do think that's that's what my gut's telling me to do. Okay, so we need to get a, uh, a, a TC out on the, the mainland here. Do that. And start setting up some more hunting cabins. So let's get you. Hunting cabin. Yes. Get you guys go in. Let's get little arrow emplacements here. Just to keep tabs on things and, you know, keep villagers from grabbing all those goodies. Yeah, we probably need, like, more naval play. I'm not really playing navy too hard. I'm really just focusing on the middle. So I feel like, yeah, I mean, I could lose my food, but I'd rather invest in the mainland because that's where all the goodies are. And there's also a trade post here, too. Holy shit. Okay. He's building the keep. Well, I wasn't sure who I was going to fight. What does this do? Sight radius of scouts and knights equip a poleaxe, increasing their melee damage by four. Oh, badass. Is that a Roos upgrade? Or is that just a knight technology? I don't know. That's really cool. That's news to me, man. So Chad Sky is finished. Um, first things first, let's get a uni. And uh, try and grab the old uh, old biology upgrade. Oh, homeboy is straight up keep rushing me here. Okay. I guess we'll take the fight. Oh, we're not going to get past him here. Feels bad. All right, so let's uh, loop around the side and go dive the artillery back there and pull you guys around. Let's get a cannon placement. You guys just bum rush the artillery. Take that down and uh, we can get Streltsy. All right, let's get on these guys. And yeah, the knights are honestly trading pretty well. They're, they do defeat men-at-arms typically, so. Although, are his guys elite? Yeah, his guys are elite. Mine aren't. So maybe maybe this is a losing fight. All right, so let's gather the Streltsy up. Um, we definitely are going to need some more gold, so let's get you guys and have you start jamming up here onto this gold node. And we might actually lose this position. I don't know what kind of siege tech he's going to gather. We do have Streltsy on the way, though, so that should be a pretty fat boon for us. Um, let's do this. We got 19 golds. Blue's gathering over here, looking a little bit ornery as well. And uh, let's get burning oil. Got to be pretty essential here. Strelts are on the way. And man, gold is hurting. Gold is hurting bad. All right, so we need to get a transport ship and uh, start transporting people back and forth. Uh, food isn't an issue. It's really just gold. All right, so golds. I like golds. But we can't make gold units right now. We got to make some siege workshops. Ones, two, yeah. So we need to do this for the Duhast. If Ezra attacks us, we're for sure getting pushed off the island. Um, back to the rat's nest from whence we came. I know. John Wick is watching in horror as I battle. I know I'm battling the dog. It, it certainly hurts. It's painful. Um, but yeah, we need to get a lot of you guys on the island. Like up here. Blue's setting up a keep near me. Is that the Red Palace? Oh, God. Oh, God. Persistent. The Red Palace machine gun is going to be online soon. So now I'm under pretty substantial pressure with the Red Palace there. Okay, let's do this. You guys go here. And uh, we got siege workshops coming, so let's get the banded beams and start getting some rams. We'll just make... We're roofs. You know, rams are our forte, so we just want to uh, get that going. Ah, uh, this is not good. Ezra is coming for us. Um, if we get attacked from two sides, we for sure are going to have to just fall back and be an island rat. Which would not be fun. Ooh, this timing is pretty bad. So hopefully he's just chilling there and that's all he wanted. Um, but we might, should be able to take these rams down. Okay. We really, really need Ezra to not come after us now. So it looks like it was just a couple rams. For now. Ezra's like on my borders chilling, but we're... Why did I make horsemen? They're not even upgraded, geez. 
Okay, so he's looking a little little ornery there. Yeah, he's he's coming for us. Okay, so we we're we're in big danger right now, actually. We are in big danger because I'm being attacked from the south. I have to hope that like another player um, gets aggressive against him there. All right, we do have a gold node here that we can kind of safely mine, so that's nice. All right, let's go. Do this and this. Got our military. We're, we are in uh, defensive turtle mode, like straight up. We just got a turtle. All right, let's go take them to the mainland. Nothing on the island really for them to do other than maybe clear out these berry bushes for a little bit of space. Okay, let's uh, drop you off. We have the safe gold node here. And we're just we're just defending now. We just got to hold. We got to hold like Sigmar here. Get biology. Um, hmm, Spyglass, kind of a cool upgrade. Our fishing fleet's in good shape. Food isn't really going to be a variable for us. Okay. It's got to keep up there, so we need to stop the villager production to that and just hit gold right here, basically. Um, I don't know what this looks like. Yeah, Red Palace is shooting us from this side, so that's pretty troll. Man, we really got sandwiched in, didn't we? The one advantage we have is that we're kind of on the coast, so um, on the bright side of things, we can make some trebs here. I think some trebs would be good for like poking back some of these keeps up on our borders. Let's repair you. And um, Ezra, yeah, he's just killing the villagers that are kind of moving over there as stragglers. Um, tithe barns, for sure we need. Let's take you, drop you guys off. And most of the villagers are on the mainland now. You go do the berry bushes of doom. All right. You guys, um, what can we get safely? Oh, shit, okay. That escalated quickly. I think I'm going to get pushed off the island here, guys. I don't have a whole lot, and the attacks on two fronts are pretty scary. I mean, that Abbasid army is no joke. Ah, do I just take my villagers and flee? Like, that's the question, because I could defend this, but um, do I still have my two warrior monks in the army? I don't think so. I think they died earlier. Okay, we can go grab, like, a relic. So let's go grab that and try and get out of here. There's no way we can hold this, right? No, that Abbasid army is pretty good, especially in this weird choke point here. Right, let's just make a couple more strelts, see if we can, like, maybe put up a bit of a fight. Even with Chad Skaya, I don't think we would get it. He's got mangoes there and shit. Yeah, we need him to overextend a little bit further. Just pull back, pull back. Get the trees. He's going to get that gold node. We're, we are assailed on two fronts. Ezra is here. We also have been proxy, uh, proxied here. This fine gentleman has been having some fun at our expense. Let's go drop the relics off on the island. Gather up here. He's probably wondering why I'm not defending. He's probably like, why is he not? But yeah, he, he must not know, obviously. I'm, I'm assailed from all sides. Um, picking a fight with Ezra here would for sure be dangerous. I should have known it. Okay, he's being he's actually being attacked by somebody else. Okay, so now we got to go dogpile on and try and retake some ground. Um, our villager count's good, so. I thought this was the time to finally settle our differences. Ezra's got that gold. E okay, Ezra's battling purple. Oh, I think we got to secure her down here. This is going to be better. Okay, so homeboy's here. And pull this. <laughs> Get in line, bro. Everyone's coming after me. All right, let's go. Let's siege it. Oh, Ezra, no. Ezra, no. I thought we were friends. And I, I get it. I completely get it. My haggard villagers. There's no winning here. Maybe we go fight, try and fight Ezra's army off. It's not that good. And it looks like he's being attacked by somebody else. Okay. So let's go here. And in the meantime, let's grab all these villagers and get as much gold as we possibly can. Let's attack Ezra if he's going to come after us like this. We got the relic, I believe, back in the boat. Yeah, so let's go take that back to the mainland. Attack here and get you guys to go after the keep here. All right, so let's do a little bit of Mortal Kombat, see what we can do. Yeah, uh, we do have some gold being mined. We're going to get as much as we possibly can before we run dry here. And uh, you guys get back here. Cool, so now we have a lot of towers to hide in, which is cool. We actually pushed Ezra's army back. Um, we're not being attacked here. These guys can just do some uh, get in the boat. Yes, and let's drop this off. 
Okay, so we're getting some damage in there. Looking good. Ezra is losing a fair amount of eco. Um, we have a landmark, the Abbey, which could be repaired, but it doesn't really do anything for us, to be honest. Oh my god, what are these Streltsy doing? Jesus, let's get him up here. Maybe we can get some of this gold back, too. Maybe. I need to get some infrastructure here, but, like, I have a red palace placed in my lands, which sucks. I could go here, but there's also a keep. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do. Yeah, Ezra just took a massive amount of damage, and he's going to lose that keep, so... The Haggard Streltsy hold. Dude, this map is really fun, though. It's very fun. Okay, he's clearly supply blocked, so let's screw that plan up. Get the Streltsy up there to finish off the villagers when they pop out. It's probably sweating bullets there. But yeah, we do deny that. Um, let's see if there's any, like, docks I can be sneaky and trade with here. That would be really funny to do some ninja trading with Blue. But Blue's, Blue could steamroll me too. He's probably not happy about what happened earlier. Okay, so we got those workshops coming. He's losing a lot of vills. Um, let's go ahead and get the gunpowder upgrade if we could afford it now. We straight up can't. Damn shame. All right. And then you guys can just do some haggard shoreline fishing for now. All right, team. Let's keep making progress. It's one less person on our border to just karate chop us, right? Uh, let's start getting the horses upgraded. We're gonna eventually not gonna be able to afford much of anything, so. Ay ay ay! That red that red cower is just giving us the dirty. All right, let's go get that gold. Gold is gonna be super scarce, right? So. Okay, horsemen, and uh, yeah, I guess we're okay. We're not like in the worst position in the world. Let's get some upgrades, man. Gold is just so tight though for us. It's so tight. Yeah, and that red palace, dude. I'm gonna have to deal with that eventually. I don't know how, but we're gonna we're gonna find a way. You guys ready for the haggard trade? This is a this is a classic Smeagol trick. I've I've been taking notes from his playbook. So we're gonna do some some trading with that that dog <laughs> that dock down there and see if they notice. I love that that's a thing, you know? People usually don't notice it until there's a whole lot of them, and they're like, wait a second! What the hell is this shit? Alright. Hey, you know what? We su we, we survived um, so far. Let's get that done. Let's just keep pushing. Looks like Ezra is going to be forced back into being a Corsair Lord for now. Uh, probably should build a dock on the top side of the island for the trade. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, so gathering up. One thing we do have a lot of resources is uh, rams. So we can do a lot of ramstein action, a lot of do hosting, because we're not short on wood. So that's purple over there. Um, purple looks like he's conquered red, so I'm not going to make enemies with DB yet. I got to deal with blue here. Blue is just giving me the biz with those towers. Okay. Let's see, we, we can delete this. Send the trade ships down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, somebody's making a navy. What is this, Masso? What are you doing here? Where'd you even come from? Okay, we'll run to the corner and just do the roost teleportation trick. Hopefully that trade makes it back. And, yep, yeah, let's go to my dock. I like it. 55 workers here. You know, it is what it is. Take whatever resources we can grab, man. This is going to become one of those Haggard Island FFA, so... Got to make sure we stay on food. I think that should be enough, honestly. Okay, let's hopefully he doesn't discover my trade. What is this, Masso? What is he doing, bro? What? What is he doing? He's just, like, cackling. Hopefully he runs into Chad Sky here and he just gets plowed over. Uh-huh. There's like no resources on this map. That's the whole idea of the map. Quite literally. Um, yeah, we can trade with you. Sure, why not? He's gonna come and get my dock, I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah, he lost one of his boats. Okay, so I don't know if we're ready for an all-out battle yet, but let's like start knocking down the periphery here. And uh, muster the Streltsy and muster the Knights too. It's going to take quite a bit of gold, but I think it's worth All right. Let's do some shoreline fishing. Trade is back online. Food is back online in the corner. And you need to go back to that dock. Great. So now we got the trade routes going. It's pretty hilarious. I don't know. I don't know if God A noticed. He might notice I'm trading with him. 
<laughs> I think he just noticed. He just said something. He was like, hey. Oh, man, that's funny. We got the Rams at the ready. The Rams ready to take down the old, uh, the old red keep there. Okay. Um, do we want to get, like, spring towers or anything like that? Let's see if we can reach it here with the Trebs. Should be able to. Perfect. I don't know why I'm bothering making bombard cannons. It feels kind of stupid. Let's make Trebs. They can outrange that thing. So, yeah, Blue's, blues our trading homie. We're, we're, we're bringing... Oh, look, look, he's chasing us. Look. Look at the demo ship. Oh, it's going to make it. That's freaking hilarious, dude. Okay, it looks like he's coming up to try and troll me here a little bit on the gold department. Be gone. Back to the shadows with you. Go back to the shadow. All right, let's keep on that red palace. We got it. We gotta claim some ground. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this map. He, he just destroying his docks. I'm gonna get it. Oh yeah, give me those resources. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go do some more scouting on the top and see if we can find anybody else's things. Hold on, I got something in my eye. Damn. Pull it away for a sec, guys. You know, one thing they never tell, told you when, when you went to go sign up to get the uh, like super long Bible hair is that like your hair will poke you in your own eye all the time and it's just the most annoying shit. God damn. Like it looks so cool in Lord of the Rings, but when you have it in person, it's just, it's just pure, pure misery. Oh shit, okay. I was wiping my eye and I didn't see the dreaded Inquisition here. Okay, so the Red Palace is down. Let's, let's take this down. Hey, hey, what's this? A little bit of trade, maybe? A little bit of trade for old Turin? Oh, never mind. Okay, he's got something there. All right, let's take the Rams. Let's go do hosting through his base. How many times must we teach them this lesson? Hopefully not too many. All right, so progress is being made. We're getting a hell of a lot of wood, which is going to be a, a Mad Max-style resource here eventually. Let's get trade ships, make a bunch. Just have them sit there, and we'll, we'll find a place for them soon. Um, how are we looking here? Yeah, it looks like the food situation is still good. Ezra is like a very high level player, so I don't think Ezra is gonna let me trade with them and not notice. It would, I mean, Blue seems very strong too, but I don't know. Ezra has been forced off the island for now, which is big. Um, let's grab you guys, and what we can do is start setting up some towers. Let's kind of keep tabs on invasion and you know who's doing what, that kind of thing, basically. Yeah, Blue is going to be off the island, which is nice. So, Our Chelsea getting some picks here against Serona. I don't know how that happened, but... I'll take it. I'll take the scraps. All right. Hey, one down. One down. Naval trade is going to be very big, though. We need to find somebody to naval trade with. Might have to switch to a food economy on land, so maybe we do that. We got the old fishing boats coming out or the, uh, the trade ships. Blue? Does Blue have any, like, coastal docks? Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe our friend here does, unless I accidentally destroy it. Let's go check if they have any docks. And then we could just trade with it until they delete said docks. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. It's looking pretty calm. Hmm. I just put a tower under Orange's Keep, lovely. The big plays. That's what you guys are here for. All right, did we get gunpowder yet? Um, no. Chemistry is pretty good for uh, Streltsy base builds. All right, so setting up. Enemy destroyed surround his landmark. Ooh. All right, then. We're getting the wood here. Um, let's go ahead and grab this stone while we're at it. Jeez, we should definitely have done that sooner. It looks like somebody's attacking Orange, so we got to take this opportunity to uh, take him down. And now we can try the uh, the old... the old. Uh... It's got towers there. Let's go see. Yeah, well, anyways, let's take the keep down. Got a pretty respectable army here on this island. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm probably going to have to eventually research some, uh, like, basic units. Like, get them all sauced out. Okay, so the rams are going to move in. Put some pressure on homeboy here. I'm going to try a little bit of cheeky trading. I don't know how it's going to work. We're going to go down this way and see maybe we can find something on this peninsula. So the Rams are in. How are we looking here? All's calm in the neighborhood. All right, trade ships. You guys standing ready. 
Where are you at? Serona, the old Wookiee's trying to, uh, trying to politic here. All right, this will do. This isn't like the worst trade route in the world, but we'll take it. I got to cast my reel. He's, <laughs> he's going back out to sea. Yeah, Orange was fighting Serona. I got to use the treacherous back tac backstab tactics, you know. We got Teal over here. Okay. Have you guys get on this. Plow it on as much as we can. There will come a point where wood is going to be so scarce that, you know, he who has the wood is king, right? So, um, yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Let's go ahead and set up a tower here. Uh, make sure nobody's trading with our dock. Smeagol did that to me last time we had an island one. He, he was trading with my dock for a while. It was pretty mean. How many villagers do we have? 91? And pretty respectable amount. All right, so let's hammer in here. Obviously, probably have all the resources more or less on the island. Oh, hello. Oh, he's actually here. I was wondering. I was wondering if he was. A pretty ranged heavy army, actually, so we could probably keep moving with the old rams. He's like in a weird choke point here, so. Let's keep, let's keep going. Keep going this way. Distract the army a little bit. We can take our knights and do a bit of a ride-by. Just ride into his eco and see if we can cause any havoc. Keep all the Streltsy up. Play defensively with them. Make horsemen to save gold. And uh, yeah, the rams are a nice distraction. Aha! Surprise! Take the knights down, do a little bit of exploring. Unfortunately, that is a lot of gold I'm going to be hemorrhaging, but I think it's okay. If we can see what he's up to here. Looking reasonably strong. I don't know what the eco looks like. Honestly, it doesn't look like he has any eco here. So he must be kind of hurting a little bit in that regard. And do we still have the siege workshops? We do. Great. So... Oh no, he's discovered us. I feel like we need to try and kill Blue. Um, yeah, we're going to lose this army, so let's just ride across the island, see if we can escape with anyone. Alright, so we need to also get Navy. I've been a little bit of a potato about that. So, um, do we have any bills here? We do. So, let's get the old naval operation going. Yes. Cool, so they're going to go set that up. And I think we need to invade Blue. Hey, we found some bills. Okay. Ended up not being a complete waste. He's got farms here and everything. All right, let's get some. Nice, couple villager pops. DB is all in on Nomad right now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man, he's got like quite a vast empire here, dude. The Abbasid players like spread out all over this island. Okay, he, my trade has been shut down. He, he wasn't happy about the old trade ship, so we need to uh, have them chill here for now. Get some trade ships. And uh, let's get some upgrades now. So cannons, uh, hull, and we need to get some navy so we can actually make some progress here. Yeah, he's not letting me not let me do that sweet sweet trade anymore. Is there a boar here that we didn't get? Hmm, I don't think so. Okay, good enough a good enough army here, for sure. Docks are coming up, outstanding. So that should be good. Let's get you over here to heal. I'd already been wiped out on land. He just sniped my island with bombards. It's a good play. Map, map. <laughs> Look at Red's trade ships. <laughs> Red's trying something similar, right? Okay, let's get these emplacements here. Whoa, why am I in the Chinese base right now? Eh, it's not where I wanted to be. I don't want to make enemies with the Chinese. Uh, <laughs> just passing through. Let's uh, let's keep accumulating a little bit more power before we uh, pick that fight. I want to take Blue out and establish uh, establish some good trade. Oh my god, really? See, hunting my my ships here. Look how many demo ships it takes to just even kill a couple of those. It's pretty ineffective. Our food isn't good, really good, though. It's not really that great. All right, so all these buildings are coming up. Let's go ahead and just get all the old upgrades. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get all the naval upgrades so we can start playing that game a little bit. Ezra's still rocking uh, some villagers over here, it looks like. Huh. Can't let them have that wood. It's ours. It belongs to us. Okay, Blue's got the red keep right here. Blue's got uh, a war cog. Oh, a little bit of a navy, huh? Okay. Well, we'll pull you guys around, and uh, let's start pumping out ships here in a second, although he's, he's going to probably reach us first. No. All right, so we're getting pressed a little bit. And up here, we uh, want a garrison. Try and knock him back there. Pop some of those villagers, and it looks like the demo ships are going to just park up on our shore. Thankfully, we do have Spaskaya, which... Should do some work for us. Um, yeah, we haven't been able to get that sweet navy that we want yet. Hmm. All right, so we got rid of his villagers there. 
Let's go around the top, make some more docks. Um, unfortunately, we can't really do much about these war cogs. We have a couple upgrades coming out, and our ships are, you know, almost there, but... Yes, get him. Yeah, it does enough, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to really punish him here. Could take Streltsy, actually. Streltsy can uh, move up there. Did I not get double time yet for the Streltsy? Oh, shit. So move the Streltsy there first before he notices them, and then we start shooting at once as uh, Alpha Strike. Yeah, and the Streltsy actually can mow down ships pretty hard. He says no, Masso. Okay, let's move here. And we can start making some attack ships. Can our guns reach that? No, we can't quite reach it. That's unfortunate. It's quite a scrap here. Definitely need to establish some naval presence. Um, you know what would actually be pretty good? Do we have any villagers on this island anymore? No, we don't. No, we do. We do. Would be like a little, um, like a keep in this choke here. To make it like harder to pass. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. All right. So ships are coming out. We get a combination of demo and galleys and all that sort of good stuff. We still have a good land-based army as well. Okay, let's finish these buildings. Um, our villager count is 87. You guys have finished that. Um, lumber is definitely going to be the most important here. We see Ezra being a gremlin. Oh man, China China is extending. Holy shit! What is that? Are those galleys? What is Masso doing? Lord, The Lord of the Seven Seas comes! Alright, let's go gather on the shoreline. Holy shit. Where are you going, dude? Doesn't look like I'm going to get this keep up anytime soon. Let's go here and then try and get that. I feel like I just got to be cautious. Things could escalate here at any point. All right, let's move there and secure these trade ships. Yeah, so he's just got a million of those galleys right there hanging out. Um, do we have all the upgrades yet? We do not have that. We need to get that. And we got China up on our borders looking like aggressive. Oh, man. I don't know if I can take on China with my gold income. Don't know if I can, although we are getting a lot of wood. Whoa, what are you doing, Masso? Why? Why are you like this? He's trolling me pretty hard here, guys. Set up a keep here. Try and secure our island. Yes, secure the pass. Dude, I have no idea what this man is up to. Um, I really wanted to take out Blue just to secure that trade there, but... I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Let's get some transport ships. Maybe we can. Just do like a quick landing and, you know, finish the job. He's killing a lot of my houses though, man. Um, trade ships? Is there anyone to trade with? I mean, we could do some like really short distance trading here. I'm going to see if we can get away with it. <laughs> here it comes. Okay, so we got the houses up. We're back back online. China, very menacing on our borders. Yeah, no, this is, this is not going to happen. Masso is pretty meme, I gotta admit. He's just literally sailing, sailing around with his troll squad. And Blue's got a respectable navy, too. Alright, transport ships. And then we want to hawk you guys as well. Put you in group 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There we go. Okay, this goes. I don't know. I'll try a little landing. He's probably going to be pretty entrenched. I don't think I'll be able to actually finish him, but... You know, stranger things have happened, right? Can, we, can you put rams in boats, actually? That's a good question. Let's find out. All right, so everybody's loading up. We're going to try and put the ram in there. Hey, GG, Frank. You were in the earlier game. Certainly was fun. Um, so, yeah, not going to be getting any free trade there. We see red cackling in the night. I have one food income at the moment. Um, should be easy to rebuild fishing, though. I'm not too concerned about that. All right, let's load them up. We got the old Ramstein coming. No, we're supply capped. So we're going in, baby. We're going in with what we got, which is, uh, which is stuff. Cancel these ships. Yeah, some of the stuff on the periphery is being taken down. Masso is just this, like, vicious Corsair overlord that just basically reigns tyranny on all of our lands. Let's rebuild fishing ships, because we're going to lose this army for sure. So we're going to land on the north side of the island, see what happens. Um, do we have all the pertinent upgrades? Yeah, we probably want to get that. And our eco is pretty damn low right now, so would like to get that back. <laughs> he says, get him, Masso. All right, so we've landed. We've made our landing here, so it's only a matter of time before the Navy arrives, so we might want to get inland, but we'll test the waters first. Uh, are all the boats empty? Yes, it looks like it. So we'll try and salvage these transport ships because we can turn them into something else. Oh boy, here comes the Navy. Oh, uh, we might be able to fight it off. Streltsy are pretty good here. 
Yeah, the Streltsy are mowing down his navy. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh my god, look at these Streltsy go. Damn, dude. Streltsy's baptizing him. All right, let's go after that. We can cut you. Holy shit. Those Streltsy just did work. This whole fleet just got mowed down. It's got some horsemen coming, but I think we can put some good sustained pressure on. Um, Red building keeps on our southern border. That's all right. Let's get as much wood as we possibly can. We're knocking down the old keep. Unfortunately, I don't have any rams here. Um, I guess I could make some. Did I ever get siege engineering? Am I that much of a potato? Probably. Oh, not even fully upgraded. I didn't have the gold, I guess. So I have some defense here. We'll leave that one dock up there. Yeah, we gotta we gotta leave the other docks up. Just defend our artillery position for now. Alright. We'll get the siege engineering in a minute, and then we should be able to build. Um, you guys just park down here. And for you guys, let's do load you fishing boats. Yeah, he's got a couple keeps. We're gonna need some siege engineering to finish that off. So I'm just gonna pull the Streltsy back and just let the horseman dive. Okay, red on the southern border. I think Masso is just an agent of chaos. He's just kind of riding around doing as he pleases. There's very few resources left. Should have should have had Siege Engineering, man. This, this definitely sucks. All right, so let's go fishing. Need that fishing economy back. Otherwise, we're going to run out of food quicker than you'd think. And these are attack ships, right? No, not all of them, but some. So let's get those up on the border see if they can help out. Oh my god, what is like even shooting me here? Siege Engineering was literally the, the one I queued last, so let's cancel that. We'll have some naval support here in a second. And the Navy is, uh, let's make the attack ships, yeah. We'll just make those guys and have them gather here. Is there any trade we can get going? I don't think so. It looks like we're being towered or arrowed here a little bit. Let's just get you some basic emplacements. Okay, Streltsy. Siege Engineering should be ready in a second. Then we can start building rams. Putting a dent in that keep feels good. Feels good for sure. Alright, rams and rams and rams. Yeah, the Roost Boat's doing pretty good damage here. Doing pretty good damage. Ezra has been completely um, punished by the Chinese here. I could try start trying to do middle trade, but I feel like, uh, yeah, China's just, China's so strong right now. Okay, let's get you guys up. Have the triple Ramstein move in. And the warships are on the way. Let's move you guys up. TC is being hit. He's still got a, a decent little land-based army, though. He's trying to build another keep here. Should be able to just hammer that down with my boats. Look at those fishing ships. Holy shit, they're going bananas. He's got to be hurting for resources. I think at this point we just harry... The island. Um, I could try doing some trade, but that's going to give away what I want. He would probably, what he would do would be a spite delete. <sighs> yeah, it would probably be a spite delete. You know, that, that would be the expected response. All right, is there anywhere I can try and trade? Not with Ezra. Let's just circle the island and just do whatever damage I can. Okay. Looking good. These trade ships are ready. Okay, so we just got to make sure we leave this dock up on the top alive. The other ones we can kill. Just keep circling this little island here. Nobody... China seems to have bigger fish to fry than me. Okay, and archers. And then we can go eight and build a bunch of transport ships. Wow, are we really like starting to run dry on resources here? This is like starting to get a little bit shady. Is there anything in the middle we can do? Let's go torch here. Okay, knock that down. We can. Um, villagers, yeah, we were trying to torch this down. Holy shit, yeah, he's trading. We're just trapping him on the island. There we go. Did he? Oh, he must have deleted his dock up there. I'm not sure. Not sure, but I think that's enough. Take the transport ships, gather up, get the army, head them on over there. Uh huh. Let's do this and uh, spring alts and this. I gotta like deny a little bit of like have a little bit of active active play in the middle, right? You can't just like let him do whatever he wants. 
Okay, let's get in the boats, ladies and gentlemen. And can the rams get in? They can, nice. So we can take the rams with us. And uh, yeah, now the trade should be temporarily shut down. In the meantime, let's go here. So those, those Chinese traders are gonna start getting pumped by my towers. Let's go, let's drop them off here. We're gonna put the pressure on. How's this going? Nope, not gonna go well. Shit, we are like officially out of like stuff to get. Well, not quite actually. We can clean out the main base here. Okay, do we still have warships nearby? We do. These are uh, fishing ships. Let's get them to the north. All right, heading in. I think I made way too many of these transport ships. So half, like half of those could probably be switched to the uh, attack ships. Heading in. Uh, I thought we had more rams in this. Is this really all the rams we, we dropped off here? Uh, looks like the other rams maybe didn't make the transport. Yeah, that's a shame. All right, so the last of the villagers are going down. These are attack ships. Um, we've cut off China's trade for now, so we have these haggard towers here, which are going to start killing his traders. Hopefully that's something. All right, you guys keep moving up. Take down the last landmarks. Uh, we have the Ramsteins. Let's get them in the transport ships here. It's kind of, honestly, a little bit hard to differentiate the Roost ships. You know, a little bit of a Trixie Hobbitses, for sure. GG. All right, so I think that's his last landmark, unless he's got another one hidden somewhere. All right, so he might have spite deleted his dock. If he did, then, you know, no, oh, it looks like he, he, I think he spite deleted his dock. You know, it's smart tactically, I guess. You know, if you want to stick it to the guy who got you on the end, but let's see. Yeah, he deleted his docks. No, no, he deleted those docks. I didn't have vision of them, so it couldn't be me that destroyed him. All right, we got to figure out trade somehow. Oh, I mean, the middle trade is probably our only bet at this point. So what we do is we grab you. And it uh, looks like this trade ship is trying. Yeah, he took it out. He took out the old docks. No more left. We do have a wonder here. Holy shit! What the hell is this shit? Look at this! Some haggard master fleet of, of, of doom here. Okay, let's, let's get these guys back. Holy shit. Let's get our Sheltie up, see if they can help out. And delete the rams on the island here. Yeah, you can, you can load... I don't think you can load uh, rams with troops in, though. All right, let's just get our Sheltie to just do whatever they can here. Okay, we're putting a dent in Masso's fleet. Not that it matters. It's literally, like, pointless. Um, man, I, I don't know. Whoever Whoever is trading is, I think, just going to get this. Um, we could do a little far side trading, like, over here. It's probably safer away from Ezra. Okay. So we did destroy Masso's fleet, um, which is certainly a nice. Okay, let's get you, let's get this. We can delete you guys for now. This doesn't really do anything for us here. We got our navy. Um, yeah, we got the trade secured in the middle, sort of. It's, it's a little bit of an ugly, uh, ugly, ugly situation, but let's make some horsemen here. You guys have done this, so let's grab this wood here. And now we can start trying to trade, I guess. It's something, man. It's something. We need to knock down this keep here. This one right here needs to go. Okay, let's get some Chelsea to support. And did we get the uh, the Warrior Monk out? We did. Still no trade options, really. Still no trade. Masso has graduated from Spears to Warships. Ain't that the truth? Okay, I'm happy to keep a couple of villagers on the main island. I think that's useful. Um, transport ships. I guess we could just transform one of these into a transport ship. Dock it right here. Pull you down. That'll be four relics, which isn't bad. Yeah, this, this could get in the way. That's probably what's going to happen here. Yeah, see, he's shooting my traders. Okay, we just need to knock that one down. We have a little bit of a navy. Oh, there's... Hold on, hold on. There's actually a trade post here. Ooh, that's Massos. Okay. No, 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 don't destroy that. That that thing's not going to last long, though. For sure. Um, all right, so let's do this. And we can do that. We can control shift A. Take our military, go down, take that keep down just for, you know, good measure. And let's get all our traders, do this, and we can have them, uh, 
Yeah, we don't have a market set up there yet, do we? Do we have any bills nearby who can do that for us? Not yet. All right, so we need to get some bills. Let's grab you guys, uh, set up a market up here, and try some long distance trading that way. Let's see what we can get done. Gotta go grab that relic. So where's my religious character? There you go. And let's take a couple of bills on that island just to see if uh, you know we can we can set up uh, some vision. All right, so knock this down. Trade's still going strong. Um, we do have this market on the bottom. Yeah, center trade is good, but we also have the Masso trade for now. Look. Yes, good. It looks bad now, but once we get the villagers to build that market up on the top, we're going to be living it up. A lot of Chinese here. They're not enjoying the dreaded arrow towers, the late game arrow towers. Let's just make archers. They'll trade pretty well into most of those like handgun type units. Uh-oh. China's back and they're pissed. Yeah, no, uh, our, our paper towers aren't going to hold up super well there. All right, so control shift A. Let's get all of our traders and have them go here. And uh, we can do this. So control shift A. Grab our traders, have them go here. And yeah, perfect. So that is going to be hopefully a decent trade route. We'll see in time. China is not getting too crazy, so I don't need to like go out and brawl with them, but like Orange is still around. A handful of players have died so far, not too much. Let's get you guys and just set up towers here to see if any funny business ever happens. It gives us a little bit of awareness of what's on the map. Oh, did he delete his market? Let's see. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> He's leaving it. <laughs> yes, give me the scraps, Precious. Give it to me. We've got 48 workers on the mainland who are just trying to find something to do. You need to get a little stone. I do need a town center just in case things go south and then they can finish off this wood. Okay, what is that? 48.50 a pop? Yes, yeah, Arona, I could rebuild your house of wisdom. That's true. Where are you even at? I think you're all the way down here. Yeah, no, your house of wisdom, I'm sure somebody's already doing that. It's, it's, and it ain't me. China's got that trade going mid. We need to shut that down. We can't. I, I, I don't know if I can win like a war of attrition with China is the problem. Because their unit quality looked way better than mine. You know what? He's probably like battling other people though. So let's let's just be the thorn in his side for now. Make some rams. Oh, he's still here. Oh, never mind. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, let's go around the back and see if we can dive. Okay, let's attack and get you guys here. We're getting some okay damage. It's it's a it's an okay trade. You know, he's losing things that are kind of expensive. And we got Rams kind of working through his base right now, so that is something. I probably don't have honestly enough infrastructure here on this uh, this island. I feel like I don't. Okay, so it didn't go badly. You know, we killed a handful of units, but the Wrath of China will uh, will be back, and we probably need some mangoes. Would be good too. All right, so you units, uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, more archery ranges here. And cool. So yeah, I have to hope that he's battling on two fronts. And don't come back is what he says. Uh, so we got these like warships. Is there anything? Oh, you know, we can take the warships up around the top, put a little bit of pressure on his trade. I think China is like the biggest threat for sure, right? Um, so let's go up here. Pull back. With my wood-based army, although honestly, man, it's going to start running real tight soon without, like, steady, steady trade. Yeah, I guess it's something. We're getting a little dough from uh, Masso. But it is land-based, which sucks, but it's not close enough to the water for us to uh, to the water trade with. Okay, so let's just attack move in here. See what kind of damage we can do. See how ready he is to fight on two fronts. Okay. Rams are making some progress, hitting some towers and stuff. I could t I could totally just get steamrolled here, but you know we could survive on our Haggard Islands if we had to. We have another island uh, worth of space with which to uh, with which to work. Gotta watch out for that artillery, man. But the Rams the Rams are killing infrastructure, which is good. It's a win for us. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We could take the trade. Do a little bit of scooting and shooting with the archers. Get the cavalry um, diving his base. We'll just like run back here and see what we can find. And just do archer harass while the rams kill are killing him. Basically, see he's losing a lot. Um, our warships are going to come down here and start nuking his trade. 
Yeah, this is good. This is actually going quite well. Now we got mangoes out. All's good. And the ride by is going to be disruptive. See, we're all up in his uh, his supply lines here. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. Now we just need to find a way to survive. Yep, Rams are making progress. The longer this goes, the better for us. Uh huh. Let's uh, shoot into the archers here. Send them to him a little bit further back. Send them further back. Yep, looks good. We got a fair amount of ills. Rams are still making progress. He's losing shit. His trade's being shut down too, so. The gravy train of China will soon be at an end. But man, oh man, we probably need to make some melee units out, but yeah, I don't know. I don't have them like terribly upgraded or developed or anything. Uh, did I ever get the fire arrow upgrade too? No, we didn't. Lovely. Yeah, China did not like that. So now we just need to hold them off here, and I think we're good. We're chilling. His army is pretty diminished. Big blow to his eco, too. That ram split push was pretty money. All right, let's counterattack. Looking good. I think I think we came out ahead there. I don't know by how much, but... Ezra could be going for an island wonder. Um, we still have some nice raids going on in the Chinese base. <laughs> You're saying I battled... Conqueror DB. Hey, I was a conqueror like 10 years ago. We still got it a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe just just, uh, just a little bit. Men-at-arms against his army comp. Yeah, he's got a lot of archers actually, so elite men-at-arms might be good. Need some army tactics. And these trade boats are just useless, so we can just delete them. Okay, so China's making a navy. The Corsairs already did a lot. I mean, his trade is offline, like, completely, so. Now he's in the pits with us with, like, mediocre trade. I mean, we have some trade. It's not amazing. Let's see how many traders we have. Ah, we got 16. Could be a lot better, but they're they're producing at a very slow rate, you know. Do a little bit of shoreline fishing here. It's a shame that um, we didn't get the docks from Dead Blue. We would be laughing all the way to the bank right now if that were the case. Two, three, four. Um, let's... Oh, we actually have way more siege workshops. Okay. Let's make some rams. Um, get the manganel upgrades. Let's do a little bit of a ride by, see what's going on. I ain't got a home no more, says Wookie. Oh, no. I feel bad. I don't think we ever brought this relic back. Yeah, a lot of things to keep track of here. Okay, so let's go see what's going on here. It looks like uh, nobody's trading. He says he believes in him. Now, do we have any more wood we can get? We do. Do a little bit of uh, exploration of the Chinese lands. Meanwhile, the rams are coming. All right, let's keep exploring. We can take our main army and push up a little bit. Go see what he's got at his main gate here. Make some men-at-arms. I guess Ezra might be attacking him too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It looks like there's some funny business afoot. All right, let's go knock down that keep. Move up. A little bit of a cute horseman raid here. Every every little bit of trolling you can do matters, right? Yeah, our trade route sucks, but it's it, it's better than just being completely gold starved. Like at least we're able to muster some units. Need to get my spears fully upgraded too. Jeez, and yeah, I don't have army tactics. Yeah, army tactics about to finish. All right, we can get that too. Oh, the old Wookiee is gone. No. No, Wookiee. Anna and I were just talking t talking about Wookiee stories today, my wife. Our old dog. Our old dog was named Wookiee for anybody who was like, a little bit newer to the channel. He was a, a true scourge. His, his crowning achievement was once uh, taking uh, taking an old uh, number two on me during the stream. That was, that was his crowning achievement. What the hell is this? Why is there like some massive... Uh, a Bassett army here. It's weird. I could low low, 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 low them, I guess. So yeah, like it looks like he's back here dealing with my raid. In the meantime, he's losing a ton of infrastructure, and wood wood is going to become very scarce soon. So um, that's kind of what I'm banking on here. But yeah, he'll have bombard cannons and stuff for sure. We're going to be running low on wood too, so we need to uh, we need to pump our brakes on the aggression, maybe, or on the spamming of the rams. He took a lot of damage though. That's a lot of infrastructure gone. Wookie, no, dude. I didn't want you to go like that, but you were a true champion. I thought you were going to kill me, actually, but because you were attacking me and Ezra at the same time, and also Blue built the Red Palace on my base, so I was like, 
It's like, I guess this is the end. This is the end of the road, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, thankfully, it looks like somebody else attacked you, so. Okay, he's hurting, hurting for gold. His whole army is, like, pretty low-quality stuff. Nice flank, though. Let's get you guys back. Let's get some spears in the mix. Yeah, do a little bit of scooting and shooting. Okay, you guys just run. Select all the military, get in there and rumble. Get some more spears, and looking good. All right, so we should drag down his horsemen here. Hey, you know, when you pick China in an FFA game, you kind of put a bit of a target on your on your back. You know, it's like China is not an FFA, excuse me, island FFA is what I meant to say. Because uh, China is so good in this format, it's insane. China. That's all I got to say is China. He has Nesta Bees boats. You know, we have, we have potatoes. The technology difference is pretty staggering. Okay, let's keep the Rams going. Just keep losing these armies over and over. But hey, you know, attrition is attrition. How's the trade looking? Pretty respectable. An island troll. I can't see him uh, here on the continent, so. <laughs> these Rams are so annoying. Holy shit. All right, let's pull back. Still have wood. I love that this army is here, this, like, elite army. I, I think I'm actually going to come well low, low some of them. All right, let's get on here. That way I don't have to, um, I don't have to, you know, build a new army. I can just well low low that existing good quality army. Spears are still in the potato age. Destroy the boat then. The dock then. Of course Ezra is trading. Ezra is going to find a way. Okay, let's build a religious building here so we can drop the relic off. He's, he knows the... He could probably destroy the dock. I mean, Ezra has been trapped for a while. Okay, so let's go down here. Take a little whoa, low, low. We need some troops. Let's go Let's go talk about Jesus and see if they're interested. Um, that's the game plan. Give them some of that sweet, sweet Bible. All right, let's go. Where are we at, boys? That's probably going to be the juiciest spot here. Yes. Give me the camel. Yes. This is so haggard. Yes, good, precious. Oh, it even made a cool sound. Did you guys hear that? That was rad. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Look at this army I got all of a sudden. Okay, you just dropped the relic off there, and uh looks good. We got some crossbows for later. We're ready to fight once again. I love that Masso is just letting me trade at his, at his spot. It's so funny. I, I wonder if he's noticed. Masso, if you're watching this back, you got to let me know in the comments if you noticed. Okay, China's trying to rebuild their uh, their old docks here. Or their old infrastructure, but we are running dangerously low on wood. We don't have naval trade, so we don't have, like, wood from that. Oh, man. I feel like Conqueror players are worse at politics than, like, Diamond and, you know, the... It's I think it's like a... They probably are just so used to their 1v1 skill. I don't know. Wookie, thank you for the zombie army. They're not, they never died. They're still here. Let's go in, put a little bit of pressure on China here. Get the Rams coming. He's, I love how he's begging Masso, like Masso. All right, Rams, let's go. Let's get in there. We got the Great Wall Gatehouse, which is going to be a problem. Just check the north of that island right there. Look at the galleys. What is this? Who is this? This is Dark Hunter Ezra. So he must be looking for naval trade, like trying to see if I have any. I think he's looking for docks too. But Ezra doesn't have the mainland, so somebody could be trading there too. Hmm. I don't know if China's like taken enough of a beating for me to feel safe yet. All right, so let's get you guys down there. Uh, Vils, let's go set up this. A little bit of lumberjacking. He's patrolling around with his fleet. Um, he might see my land base trade here, so maybe we grab them and come here do this and then uh, go here yeah let's see if we can get that going we're gonna take down the great wall here he's obviously busy fighting somebody else uh oh the full wrath of the chinese horseman legion is upon us okay he's riding past my keeps now which is good so we'll try the central trade although eh, you know what? i think i thought ezra was gonna come down here and do something but yeah we'll go back that way i think it's fine did we get the Great Wall down? We almost did. Shit, it's on fire. If that thing goes, then we can definitely do some more work. 
So Ezra did ride by, um, lost a lot of ships. We need to replenish our army with the dreaded Wookiee Legion. Our champion Wookiee in chat. So Ezra just went in a big circle with his army, I'm not sure why. Here we go, a gift from the Wookiee. I know. Did I ever get Tithe Barns? I think I forgot to get it, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's get it now. Never late, better late than never. I got it, I looked at it earlier and I was like, I'm too poor for this, I can't, I can't do it. But, um, what is this? What is this even doing here? Never just upgrade that. Deal with it. You guys saw the traders, right? Um, yeah, so Ezra is obviously being a trade bandit. I'm not the threat here, says DB. Heard that before. Okay, let's do this, 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 this. And do we put the relic away? We did. Let's go grab the sacred site. The Nurgle zombies. Okay, the dock should finish soon in a second. But like our wood income is bad now, so we need to legitimately um, be careful. Okay, Masso is eliminated. Wow, somebody actually killed Masso. Okay. Hey, do I see some wood right there? Oh yeah, sign me up. And here's our mighty Abbasid crossbow legion. Oh, he says yes. Rise once more. Um, yeah, China. I'd rather fight any other Civ late game. Although I think that Ezra is just gonna go um, go for like an island victory. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll build a little bit of a navy and go say hi to Ezra. Um, but man, the Chinese here too are such a such a, a perpetual threat. Is there any wood down here? Yeah, we have that nice wood patch here. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, shit, I have both sacreds. Oh, I didn't know it was a double sacred situation. Holy shit, okay. Uh, uh Masso's left. Oh shit, there are only, there are only two sacreds? Uh, all right, well, uh, let's just, you know, like, let's put a little bit of effort into this. All right, so we'll defend this one. I, guys, I legitimately, I, I have 36 tickets in the Golden Gate. I did not know that this was a double sacred site map, or else I would not have grabbed that. Because now it's going to make me an enemy, but I'm like, all right, well, let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if everyone else is, like, as poor as we think. Okay. Ezra's attacking us from the north. Oh, well, for some reason it, it, like, stopped the trade. Okay, now it's back. Ezra's got a big navy. You know what? Is there a chance that we could actually do something here? Oh, hello. Shit. I think those are Fire Lancers. Oh, God. Oh, God. This one is, like, not even defended. <laughs> we just have nothing there. Okay, can we get down there in time? I don't know. It's going to be tough. These villagers are piecing out. Ironically, I wasn't even going for Sacred, but Ezra... Ezra just... <laughs> Pulling the old trigger here. All right, let's get onto the sacred site. You know what? Let's just like lean into it a little bit, and then like you know maybe build a keep up here too. All right. So the dreaded ambassador on their way. Get onto the sacred site. I mean, there's only so much Ezra can really do if he's not on the mainland. You know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's just, like go for this a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Let's just buy some more. Okay, trying to torch that down. We have a couple dudes over there. These bills are going, and then these ones can build this. There's a market here, actually. Oh, and a relic. Oh, shit. People left some goodies in this space. I did not notice that there was a sweet market here. Okay, let's get this. Do a little bit of this. Ezra's gonna have to land a, a force here. He's moving in, but yeah, no, this is. Oh, he killed my traders. Yeah, nice ambush there. All right, so I guess we're. Uh, I guess we're going for a sacred here. So let's like leave some troops down there. Leave some troops down here as well, and then we can take the rest of the army up top and see what we can do. Let's delete some of these. And then set up another keep here. Are we going to have a chance at winning here off like a haggard mistake? I feel like we might. Because we could just use all our tickets to build a bunch of keeps. And China might be kind of dead on dead in the water. 
Ezra is just battling our random random ass keeps. Let's go see if we can salvage this one. Keep that thing online for as long as possible. Mm-hmm. Delete these. Okay. So we got some troops hanging out. We're using we're kinda of going all in on this now though. Oh, they were actually repairing that, that's really funny. Alright. So Ezra's gonna to have to delete and land if he wants to stop me. China is probably gonna do an all in on one of these. I don't know which one. Alright, that's enough keeps on each one, I think. Now we just get cannons, cannons. Okay, shit, here comes China. Aye, aye, aye. I don't know. I think I think we, we kind of screwed the pooch by going for it. I don't think we can defend these guys. Yeah, it's, their armies are too fat. Oh, we did get to the six minute mark. Like, if I could beat the Chinese army, but I, I just can't. He doesn't look dead here. A lot of people like to say that they're dead and then they just have armies. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Make some more archers. Make some more archers. You don't look dead. <laughs> Ezra's landed with some knights. Oh, man. I'm going to be forced to be an island rat now. Okay, a couple knights are moving on. Interesting. Uh, looks like I lost a lot of my dudes there. So these guys just need to get back on wood. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to make it. There's no way in hell. It's like, we're being harassed from so many angles. Our island is also, like, dead in the water, too. <laughs> He's like, I'm dead. Ezra's going to have to fight him next. Man, I actually did not even mean to go for this. I, I might still live afterwards, but um, uh, it's going to be a tall order, man. It's going to be a tall, tall order. I am rapidly running out of units here. Do you have this other, like, portion of the army we're going to call up and see what they can do? At least we have a couple of keeps later on. Um, you know, Golden Gate will rebuild its tickets. But that's going to be the last keep here. Because we have this ambushing army from the south. Okay, and we just get archers coming out. Yes. Let's take down some of these guys. Get some more spears moving. Yeah, we're pretty much toast. We lost all of our trade, too. I actually didn't even mean to do that. Thought there were three sacred. Oh, man. We only got five minutes left on the hold here. We should probably start stop tri trickling in units and just save the money, save the resources. All right, so at least we got the sacred giving us some money, some villagers down here, which um, I suppose we could rebuild in this base a little bit. We do have some trade here. But I'm going to lose this whole mainland worth of units. Uh, maybe we can get a warrior monk out here to grab this relic in the meantime. Our island could be killed too. We need to get a keep on it to help defend it against this pressure. Oh man, dude. A couple of crossbows still poking away. China is still quite strong. You know, it looked like they were Palpatine a little bit, but man, they were in good shape. Good luck with Ezra now. He's going to have to fight Ezra, who clearly is rich. Um, Want to kill Ezra turn? He's trading? Sure. We can try. We can try. Yeah, if he stops attacking me, maybe, maybe there's a, a glimmer of hope here. Uh-oh, he's destroying this. Okay, let's grab this. Run you guys over here. Repair Chad Sky Tower, which is going to put some hurt down, hopefully. I might just be straight up dead, though. We're going to have to see if I can rebuild an army here. I do have the villagers getting wood on the south side. We managed to re-secure a relic. Chad Sky killed a couple boats, but China is going to have to help me out. Like, hard, hardcore. Because we are just in the pits right now. All right, let's go down here. Knock this down. So hit this, hit this, hit this. Yeah, China needs to go, like, naval invade Ezra for there to be any hope, I think. Okay, uh, what can we do here? We have no food income, but we don't really need it. This building is going down, so we're going to get another relic here. Let's actually resecure our prayer building, like, over here. It's going to be fine. We got this relic here. Is there any way we can get it off the island? Um, let's go Navy. Repair. No, repairs don't make any sense. Let's just set this up here. Maybe you won't be able to reach it. We can drop him in. 
You would have to landmark snipe one of my main land landmarks, which wouldn't be easy. Okay, take it down here. Let's build this. Let's go, baby. Okay, that's not working. So let's have you guys uh, attack this. We can just rebuild it right there. I saw. Need to rebuild before I can help. Yeah, gotta rebuild because I basically lost everything there. But China and I are now, we're best friends. Going for it. Okay. Oh, that relic is in the way. I think we could grab it with him. It's a pretty sweet spot for this, actually. Okay. So you guys come down here. Got you. Drop it in there. Go here. Um, then we could start repairing, but he's got the boats all over the place. I think we just got to switch to Navy to try and... We have to outmuscle him at sea. All right. So you guys go up here. You guys are chilling on the sacred site. It's going to be a good spot for you. Drop this in and get this if we can reach it. Get some vills. We got more vills on the mainland. Could start a little bit of food income. Oh, go, buddy. Come on, you can make it. Oh, we got we got away with it. Nice. So where can we rebuild? Um, Ezra's all over the place. He's got, like, minions all over the lands. Yeah, I think we need to save this for... Um, yeah, he's got a naval embargo here. Uh, where can we make a navy that would be safe? Here we could looks like this like little corner peninsula. We could maybe set up a keep here. I don't know. We'll see. Looks like there's some shooting there, so hopefully he doesn't have any boats nearby. And uh, we need to get some trade going, which might be possible here. So if we set up some trade right here, two, three, we can trade down with this dead um, this dead dock or this dead market, which is a pretty pitiful trade, but. It's better than nothing. And the thing is, um, we do have that middle trade post online too. Yeah, but I think the other one's further, so I think we go down there. Okay, so that's going to finish in a second. Oh boy, Ezra's got a wonder. Oh, and he destroyed my keeps there too. All right, here we go. Here we go. Cap sacred. All right, he wants me to cap sacred. You got it. Okay, so let's do this. Set this up here. And I have the religious characters nearby. I know they're down here somewhere. They were down here somewhere. On it. I'll happily capture the sacred. Uh, on it. Do I still have any military infrastructure? Here we do. We can make some strelty, actually. We could produce some units. Okay, so let's do this. Set up a keep here. Uh, he destroyed the golden gate. Are we going to try and build anything there? No, not quite. The riders are on their way. He's going to be here with night soon, but I still do have some emplacements. <laughs> the army of the dead needs to return. I know it really does, doesn't it? No, 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 no. Cap it, cap it, cap it. Come on. I would love to get that golden gate back online. That would be that would be quite a treat. Um, looks like we got a dock up, but it's not doing super hot. Are we going to be able to repair that in time? Let's see. Okay, so we got that. We also have a, uh, a keep on it. Let's get some towers. Make sure I'll see you with what we have. Like, this one's pretty well entrenched still. It has three keeps on it. Um, oh, that's right. We have the full army of the dead over there, too. Don't we? Okay, so we'll, get, we'll try and grab the army of the dead in a minute once we get this sacred site. We got it. All right. So now we're going to go and grab the army of the dead. Yeah, there was a huge army. Wasn't there another one? Let's see. Um, I don't know. I don't know where. Where is it? Am I missing it? Well, whatever. We'll make the dudes. The dudes will be ready. Okay, so we're gonna try and force our way out. He's gonna be mustering a big old army here. You gotta, I think, spend the last of our wood to make some spears. Enemy neutralizing sacred site. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Man, I wasn't down there. I didn't have anything. Ship. Okay. Well, let's uh, get you down there. You know, if he, I can recap before 10, we'll keep it safe this time. All right. So let's see if I can get there in time. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be able to hold it, actually. All good. Crisis averted. 
Let's keep some units down there. Keep you guys here. Um, is there any resources I can get? Oh, there's actually a fair amount of wood right here. Very nice. Okay, so let's get these barracks up. Let's get these barracks up. We got the respectable trade. You guys, uh, not a whole lot to do, but we can just do some shoreline fishing, because why the hell not? I got it under control. I got it under control. Okay, so China's here. Now it's a situation where it's kind of like a game of chicken. Is Ezra gonna, gonna, you know, is he gonna tap out here? Is he, what's he, what, what's his game plan? He's trying to get Ezra to delete, which is fine. Let's go take some of these villagers. I mean, screw it, right? We, 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 we have like a pretty good supply situation, so. Hmm. Hell yeah, baby, let's go. A little bit of a little little bit of religion for the win. Okay. So Ezra has not had a landing force yet. Um, we're still tight on wood, but we can get back to this. China is like preparing to pounce because uh, understandably the, the the greed might overcome me. We have to see. But we got the religious characters, so let's keep one of them in each of these, and we can like pop them out and. Uh, we can also just keep some villagers lumberjacking over here. I think there's still some to be had. You see how China's just postured waiting though for us? They're just like waiting for, for the moment to attack us, you know? It's pretty hilarious. How are we doing on trade? Is it still going? Uh, how many traders do we have? Only two. Ugh. It's bad. All right, so let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, we got Ezra building a keep up in the north. Ez builds keep north island. All right, so it looks like there's a split push going on. So we're gonna have to split up our forces. Um, so let's get you guys down here. He's gonna go until the very end. It doesn't look like he wants to delete the wonder. He wants it bad. Ezra has got a knight army coming in, but we have a Streltsy spear army, which will pretty much hard counter his army if we just sit here, so. Yeah, the, Chi <laughs> the Chinese player intercepting. Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's get spears. Let's get Streltsy. And uh, you guys need to make more production infrastructure. Let's go. Build it up. As we're moving in, let's go see if we can poke his army. He's going for the keep there. Um, I don't know what kind of siege he has. Should be able to punish his army pretty well. Yeah, making a run for it, but like I'm, I got units here. I got Streltsy, so he's not going to get that one easy. And here we fight a pretty good quality French army. Uh, I don't know if I have army tactics. I don't think I do, but the Streltsy should just mow him down here in this choke point. Uh-huh. And we still can't repair these landmarks because of his, his accursed ships there that are chilling. It's looking like Ezra is going to have to delete. I might actually even be able to fend off China long enough. We'll, we'll have to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can we make any siege equipment? We have spring alds and we have damage of trebuchets, neither of which is super useful. Look at China. China's really, really going in to get Ezra to delete it. Ezra is going to probably pull the delete soon. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but it's gonna it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down soon. You can hide the monks with the relics in the keep and surprise Wololo. Well, I need the money right now, but the idea is that they're nearby and they can do the Wololos well, in, in a pinch, you know. These like random ass fishermen here on the island. Still got some wood. That's what she said. And uh, how's our trade looking? Looks like that trading post never truly got finished. It's in a pretty precarious situation, but looks like Ezra has been forced off the island. He's trying to get here with some men at arms. Ezra is very, very scrappy, like very scrappy. But this time we're uh, we're prepared for it, so not going to matter too much. I wonder if Ezra will delete though. That's the question. Um. All right. Enemy contesting sacred site. It's fine. We get the last samurai on those guys, no problem. Trying to buy some time. Let's uh, get these buildings out here. All right, you guys go get some wood, and you guys on the island. I almost literally just want to send them to try and torch this. See if they can, the heroes. Ezra is sending villagers to try and delay it even, look at this. All right, can we get any sort of navy? No, he's still got that naval embargo going pretty hard. China stands at the ready to shut us down, though. Four minutes and 30 seconds. Ezra's got a big army of knights coming in, but I think we're equipped to handle it. 
Should have been building more and more units that entire time. All right, let's fight him. Should be able to mow down those knights pretty quickly. It does delay me a little, I think, but I don't think it's going to matter. Ezra might go for a landmark snipe. I don't think so. Yeah, no, those knights have no chances. And uh, the keep is dealing with some of the uh, Chinese forces that are attacking, actually, which is interesting. Kill these rams. And we need to start making some siege so we can, like, potentially actually hold it. That would be kind of cool if we can actually get away with that. The villagers might have actually chased off that boat. All right, so let's make some bills on the island, try and repair. Ezra's got a flanking force coming here. Let's do this. Grab that. And uh, pull back here. You guys go down there. We're going to need a little bit more support. And if he tries to come here, we got the surprise Wololo ready for him. Yeah, so you guys do this, and the rest of the army can go. Let's make some houses here. Get that golden gate back up and running. Hezra's got a tricksy ambush. He does. Okay. Siege. Mangoes. Yes. This one's slightly less defended, but it does have triple keep. And uh, we got a lot of Streltsian spears heading down there. Sure, let's see if we can do sneaky, sneaky trading. I did see his army getting there. Honestly, I see Ezra refusing to delete. He's pretty stubborn. Yeah, I can see that too. But then he's probably going to lose. He's probably going to lose because I do have landmarks. Ooh, you know what? Actually, shit. I need to fix this. I need to fix this fast because I could get landmark sniped. Maybe. Yeah, so we better repair this quick. See if we can get that back online. All right. So it's getting repaired. Should be fine. And uh, yeah. Three minutes until sacred victory. He's scheming big. The only way he would really know about that landmark thing would be is if he was watching stream, and I don't think he would do that. So, Repair this, and uh, we got a TC here. Red Palace is the, the remnants of the Red Palace are still there. I think we could send a couple more guys down here to be safe. And uh, 20 vils. Yeah, shit, okay. Fair enough. Buy some wood. China looking like they want to get aggressive. Hmm. I did notice. I did notice the Ezra scheming. That's why I'm reinforcing down there. Uh, can we get some springs? That'd be nice. Finally, I noticed this. I know. It was like, yeah, totally going over my head. I'm perfectly fine with French not winning Ezra. Delete or turn wins. Look at that. Enemy destroyed landmark. Whoa, whoa, look at that. What's going on here? Okay, so we got that fixed. We got the Abbey of the Trinity up. I, I thought it was... I didn't think that one was destroyed, but I, <laughs> apparently it was. <laughs> oh, man. The rust is real, guys. Hopefully you can forgive me. Uh, Ezra's going to do a last stand. Uh, got it. Got troops on both. All right. So let's do this. Get you guys down here. So Ezra is going for his final, his his big push here. This one doesn't have as much fortified uh, presence though, so we need to make sure. Yeah, I got I got troops on both. We need the surprise Wololo. Let's kill these rams. Here he comes. Let's get the Wololo of the gods. Should be able to deal with the armies here, I think. Hey, we took all his knights! Look at that, we got the Wololo, baby! Let's go! Okay, he's he's currently slowing us down a little bit. We should be able to last samurai his army off. Oh, guys, we got the dreaded Wololo. We got it. Oh my god, get it. Oh, we might get the landmark snipe here. That's not good. I don't have any other landmarks, I don't think. Oh god! Oh, I'm too weak! Oh no! <laughs> too many! Oh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, DB. I couldn't stop it from all the angles. Yeah, and we couldn't repair the island landmarks too. Oh, Anakin, I'm too weak. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like now. Holy shit, that was a good game. Oh no, can I keep watching? Oh, I want to keep seeing. Yeah, China is in danger. There was no way. He had the full naval blockade. We could only defend the sacreds, but yeah, that was, that was really good. Hey, at least we repaired that landmark. If we didn't repair it, then, you know, we were, we were toast. Uh, 
we couldn't get the island ones. And uh, where was our other one? We had that red palace. No, we had the two on the island, and then we had that, and Fast Guy was on the island also. Yeah, we couldn't get... We had three on the main island, which we couldn't get. Yeah, so it was just that one. Pretty easy for him to stop. GG! 40 seconds! Hey, I know. Oh, Ezra's going to win that 100%. 100%. The wonder was only one minute from over. We know how it ends. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Guys, it was really fun. Ezra showing top-tier players always. Great, great multitasking. Uh, yeah. And that's it. We're done for tonight. I'm going to be off until next Wednesday. The wife and I are going on a little vacation, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Tonight we had some good politics. We had some good scheming, some good back and forth. And ultimately, I'm pretty happy that we were still kind of in the game, you know, despite being really rusty and haggard. We still kind of hung in there. So it was fun. So guys, thank you. Really appreciate you all. If you enjoyed the Age of Empires stream, please do drop a like on the way out. It helps a ton. And we'll be back uh, sometime next week. We'll do another Age stream. I don't know when. I'll try and do it earlier in the day, but we'll uh, we'll get to the bottom of it. GG, well played. Appreciate you all. And uh, man, the troll toll has been paid once again. Adios, my friends. Take care of yourselves.